My name is TJ Gamble and this is Bruzel. But what does it actually take to get one of these in the state of Alabama? It's all told we spent about 400 bucks, but this is what we got. That's a good whiskey. There's a lot going on there. Welcome. My name is TJ Gamble. This here is my better half, Jill. You have tuned in to Bruzel. Pull yourself up a chair, pour a stiff drink, maybe hang out with us for a little while. And let's get this Monday off to a good ending, I guess. It's not the start. start it's the start. The let's Hopefully, we can have a little bit of a good time here this evening. Let me know if we've got good audio, good video. It appears as though it's frozen up on my screen over here. But is it working for y'all? I don't even freaking know. <laughs> it's not working. Not working? Looks like we're having some technical difficulties. Uh, uh, I nailed that intro. And we're having technical difficulties. What's going on? All right, let me know. Give me an audio video check in the chat here. It appears as though it pulled through it. A little bit of a technical difficulty there to get this one started, but hopefully it's working. What's going on, everybody? Happy, I see. Happy, happy Monday. Happy Monday. That's what it is. It's a good Monday. Uh, it's been a good Monday for me. Got a little work done, and now I get to have a little whiskey. Looks like Kyle Morgan is going to have a little Bruzel barrel pick, a little Bruzel Ooh, barrel store pick for yeah. the live stream, which that is a good. a good, good, that's a good pour. I enjoy that bottle very much. We're going to, we're going to drink a lot of that one before it's all said and done. Miracle Martinez. Aw, yay for Mondays with Jill. Thank it, you. The stream, she almost didn't stream with me today. I didn't. It's always oh. better when Jill joins. Thank you there, Martinez. It was Martinez. one of those Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Ron finally found some E.H. Taylor, tried some E.H. Taylor this past weekend. Well, this stream, we are going to crack open a brand new E.H. Taylor barrel proof. You've never had this one, Jill. And I've only had one little pour at a restaurant, a little half a pour half at a restaurant once. I shared a pour with somebody. Um, so I've never had a full two ounces of this guy. So it's going to be fun. But what we're going to do is we're going to try this. And then, when we're done trying this, we are going to open batch 18 of Stag. And then, we're going to blind those two against Blanton straight from the barrel. Okay, so what'd you just say? We're going to drink all three of those and then drink all three of those again? No, we're just going to do this one. Oh, I was supposed to say And then we're going to do this one. Uh -huh, okay. And then we're going to drink the three. Sound good? No? Sippy, good? sippy, sip, sips. Small sips. These are all Man, foolproof. Anyway. Okay, we well, might want to start with a little bit really of a... Really small sips. All right, and, and we've got a super chat goal. I don't have the counter to keep up with the super chat goal right now. We're going to have to do that later. Um, you know, next time we'll just have to keep up with, with it manually. But I've got Howler Head Banana Whiskey. And it tasted like banana Laffy mm -hmm. Taffy soaked in whiskey. If we hit $100 on the Super Chat goal... Y'all don't do that. We are going to try this banana Laffy Taffy infused mm. whiskey. That's I don't know okay. if y'all can see how nasty that looks that's right a, there. That's okay, people. We don't, have to, we don't have to do that one, okay? It's uh, it's thick. Let's put it that way. That so, looks gross. Yes, it, it looks like... I don't and even know what it looks I'm like. I'm not a huge banana fan of any flavor. It is not clear. Let's put it that way. Ugh. So. Yeah, let's not hit that goal. <laughs> You'll be okay not trying that one. If not, I'm going to try it in a video, but I'd rather do it tonight if we could. That would be fun. Kyle, you know I can never keep up with this one. Daniel asks, if anybody else is lagging, y'all let Daniel know if you're lagging. If it looks like it's good up here. I'm trying to check the... Um, I think earlier it said it was It did lag a little bit, bit so. right at the beginning, but it's supposed to tell me the... I'm still pushing a bit rate higher. I need to change my bit rates, what I need to do, but I can't do it uh, while we're streaming, so... I don't know what a bit rate well, is, but okay. Yeah. We're gonna. We're that means the quality we're pushing out is higher than YouTube wants us to push out. Darn, we're too good. We're too, uh, I'm just trying to give too God. much quality. Trying to give too much quality. All right. So what are we gonna start with, Jill? Let's let's get a little palette. Um, you know, warmer upper. A warmer upper. I guess that's the best way I can put it. I don't know how you how it should put it. And then we'll get into these barrel picks. So, so pick a pick a pick what, a whiskey. Any whiskey. Any whiskey. What do you want to try? Not a barrel proof. Is Frey Ranch would, a warmer upper? It could be. Yeah, grab the fray. Fray. Into the fray. the fray. Behind us. Oh. Yeah, I think. It's, it's on the top. Oh, it's two. Then I'm going to get it. It's you on the get, top. I yeah. have to get it. That's a TJ getting it tonight kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Kyle Morgan. <laughs> Kyle Morgan. Kyle Morgan. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. 
Thank Kyle you. with the uh, forty nine ninety nine super chat right there. Um, that is really wow. really awesome. But um, Jill does not want to drink banana yeah, she experiments does. in a little experiment jar to tonight. Don't let her lie to you. She wants to try. Uh, it. Well, thank you, Kyle. Kyle, thank you. <laughs> but I'm just gonna try the regular stuff, and he yeah. can try the. We got ADHD experiment. whiskey up in here. Hey, Matt. Oh, I slid too close to you. Now we're too close. Too close? We're never too close. I don't know. I need elbow room, Jill. I'm going to have elbow room. Okay. Gotta, well, if you need elbow room, then you know, don't wanna, scoot over. Don't want to hit you in the head. That'd be bad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Kyle done set us up. I think that banana Laffy Taffy is going to be good. So what did you put in there? Banana Laffy Taffy? It is taffy? literally, it is ancient age. And banana Laffy Taffy. One piece of banana Laffy Taffy and ancient age. So let's try Frey but Ranch. not ancient, ancient age. No, not ancient, ancient Which age. Like $12. Like. You wouldn't like anything with banana Laffy Taffy in it. <laughs> I could put pappies and banana Laffy Taffy. Not going to be good. Not going to be good. You. So we're going to warm up on this Frey Ranch, and then we're going to hit the high proof stuff. I got to go slow. See, Matt gives me a hard time here, ADHD whiskey about going a little too hard. And now that Jill's here, she's dialed me back a little bit. You go way too hard. And uh, so I gotta I gotta have a little warm up here. You gotta slow down. It's best enjoyed slowly. For sure, for sure. Haze for days tuning in from Louisville, Kentucky with a glass of makers. Welcome, I appreciate it. Brian says the video is very crisp with an E. I'm gonna tell you what, that Frey Ranch is good. Can't beat Frey Ranch. I, I need to I hit them up to do a barrel pick, and they haven't replied yet. So I need Please to, I need reply, Frey Ranch, because I really like you guys. Like, I really like you guys. Bear found hey. a bottle of E.H. Taylor Small Batch for $130. I, I still think that's expensive, Bear. Uh, a lot of people pay that. Um, that's not, like, astronomical on the secondary market, but that's, that's more than I would pay for a bottle. Toby wants my shelf collection. Oh, William Gamble. I was like, who's William Gamble? Oh, who is William Gamble? I that's don't know our who child. That could be. <laughs> but he Will's, changed his name on here. Or Will's something. coming up tomorrow. I may, I may end up. Setting, oh, he said, "Oops, wrong account." Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna be up here tomorrow to film. I may yeah. do some a live stream tomorrow while we're filming, so we may set up mm. a live stream. But I probably will just drop it to supporters. Um, and if no supporters show up, like if everybody's at work, then we'll drop it in the Discord. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Still need to pick up that Frey Ranch. Uh, 13 Colony yes. did get back with me. Oh. We're talking, still trying to work it out. I have a phone call with them on Monday, I believe. Um, 13th Is that for Colony. A barrel? Yeah, possibly. They're they're semi local. Ooh, Alberto. Alberto. Thank you. Well, it did, I was going to add it to the screen here, but I don't know why my. Mm. This is so good. It didn't get, like my. My chats have stopped. Oh, there it is. And then it just all of a sudden, like, jumped a bunch Where of them. Is the, My chats are lagging. Sorry about that. But, new, Alberto, thank you for the $3 super chat. The new Frey Ranch we got. It's a barrel strength. It's up yeah, top right, and in the rock. Right. It's saying, right there where that other one is. It's right was right in front of it. Gosh, these are, so, and these are such a pretty bottle. Look at that. It's a heavy bottle, It's too. a heavy, pretty bottle. Uh, gone ham. I have not seen the new Larceny Barrel Proof um, A123. Post it. Yeah, yeah. So it, it will, like, we could just leave it on afterwards. We don't put on as much of a production. Oftentimes, it's just the webcam on this, and it's a be behind the scenes of us filming. So we'll be able to, and we possibly could use those. In the oh, court. my goodness. Smokey, Smokey 201 brought the hammer. All right. Smokey. So we're, it's already, we already Smokey, hit the Smokey, you're supposed to help me with baskets, okay? Not banana Laffy Taffy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh! Uh, easy peasy. We should have set a oh higher goal. Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, how many? How many? Uh, how much money for you to drink a full four ounces? I'm not drinking a full four <laughs> ounces of nothing. <laughs> nope. Oh, that free range is good though. It's so good. You haven't tried thirteen colonies. No. We need to let Jill try that thirteen colonies before we get on the high proof stuff. Um, I like Clyde Mays Wilson. Like it a lot. It's pretty good stuff. Get to drinking the banana juice. Yeah, Thank we're you, gonna Mr. we're Salty. gonna do that. We're gonna do that after we do the blind, though. Okay, so we're gonna do it, oh. but it's got. I didn't expect that to happen that quick, and I want Smoky. to. Um, 
I want to do a blind of these, and I don't want my palate to be full of banana Laffy Taffy. So, Oh, my goodness. Jake is new to this. I'm trying to tell the difference between rye and bourbon on the nose. So, on the, the Ooh, nose of that's rye. that's a good, I wonder if I could tell the difference. We'll try it here in a minute. We'll try it. Let you try that 13th Colonies, and then we'll I'll pour one and let you sniff them. That's a I'll test your sniffer. <laughs> so, Kyle. <laughs> Sorry, Jill. Oh, my Kyle goodness. Morgan. Y'all are killing me tonight. Banana Laffy Taffy. Yeah. I can hear the headphones over there, so I'm going to turn the volume down. Hopefully that didn't, if that messed up y'all's volume, let me know. Shouldn't have. Um, so Woodford or Buffalo Trace are good starters for sure. Did I miss one? We got a quite a quite an active chat. I apologize if we missed some uh, comments. Dark ah, Knight with the 499 just super to make chat. Sure we're over the we're definitely over the 100 goal, but I appreciate the super chat nonetheless. Oh, well, now y'all just keep them coming now because yeah. Like, I got to try the banana Laffy Taffy crap. So for me, on a rye, though, the, the nose on a rye and a bourbon, typically, now you got to understand, you've got high rye bourbons. So like when I was on oh. Matt Madness, I missed one on the nose because it was, it was a high rye bourbon. And so there was a lot of rye on it, technically still a bourbon. Hmm. Uh, okay. And sometimes, so. sometimes ryes can be very bourbon friendly. So they can be, you know, not so oh. rye forward. And so it's not as easy as it sounds. It really depends on what you've got. But if I almost get like a like a pine needle kind of minty aroma on rice. Well, I think I always get a like a cinnamon candy. Is that true? On rice? Is that what I get on rice? I mean I don't know. You, or is that bourbon? What that's bourbon? Do you get cinnamon candy? No. Okay. Well let's try rye. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> What's my favorite Jack Daniels? Coy Hill, if you're just talking any Jack Daniels. Oh, yeah. If you get to like what's Coy reasonable. Hill, absolutely, um, 100% Coy Hill. Reasonable, probably the barrel proof single barrels, but I do like the triple mash. The 10 years actually really good too. Appreciate it, Matthew Miranda. What's up, Lynn Drake? Ooh, missing some. Drinking some Clyde May Special Reserve. Nice, Peyton. Hey, M. Smith, slow down a little bit. Stay with us for a while. Do either of you play video games sometimes, but not often? Country boy, no. Kale. It's been a while, man. Thanks for joining. I, I don't play video games. Don't Jill does not. And I don't too much. It's it's like work to me. Like I, I go in well, there and I play and I feel like I've done I've done nothing. Occasionally which is fun. I'll play with Ava. Okay. But not very often. I I I was playing for a while and then every time I would play, I'd just go play Fortnite. Yeah. I'll play I'd jump in and play Fortnite. And then my daughter would see me playing Fortnite, and then she'd want the PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> and then she would, she'd she play one game, and then she wouldn't touch it for two weeks, and I'd take it, and I'd play Fortnite one night, and then she and would then want it want back. It. yeah. Because, you know, she saw me playing and having fun. So then I just quit fighting for it. I just, like, let her have it. Forget it. <laughs> Lynn just got the Bruisel Glen Cairn. Awesome. Hope you enjoy it. Smokey. Yeah, he's talking to Kale. It has been a while. Yeah. High That's corn rice, Maryland style. Yeah, and I like those. I tend to like those really kind of bourbon friendly rice. Those are the ones I, I typically enjoy. Total wine getting Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare is huge. Yeah, I mean, they're pumping out a lot of that in, in certain geographies. Is Jefferson's Reserve Ocean considered a joke in bourbon community? I mean, it's a gimmick for sure. It's definitely a gimmick, but some of the batches are really good. It just depends on the batch. Um, but folks who review and talk about bourbon don't don't usually spend a lot of time on it for sure. Appreciate it, Justin. I've got my this is my red clay um, brewery hat here. Red clay the and local Opelika brewery. Yeah, it looks like my chats over here have uh, have caught up. So I'm sorry. I was trying just, to show someone's great. You just a... you just went into a different world well, there. I heard a siren upstairs. Mama Bear started getting yeah, a little protective. Yeah, well, I heard a siren. The police siren's going, and then it just kind of stopped. So I'm like, hmm, is that close by? And I just looked at our cameras to make sure nothing was outside. I don't see anything, but, you know, okay. who knows? Who knows? Moving on. <laughs> Kids are not screaming, so it should be okay. Yeah, Jill, you know, I'm not going to say it. Don't say it because it's it. probably not something appropriate. Nope, nope. Please, only Cheers, DC. things. Thank you, Reginald. What's your thoughts on pairing a cigar with a whiskey bourbon? Uh, I don't smoke a lot of cigars, and when I do, I don't care what I'm drinking, because I'm not going to taste it. 
But, I mean, it, a lot of people like fruitier, high-proof stuff. So most cigar blends are kind of going to be that, at least the ones I've had. Um, I've had a Waythin single barrel, but not their barrel proof, Greg. Jill has, have you tried the Tabasco whiskey? Mm. Did you try the Tabasco whiskey? I think so along, I think Will was here one stream or something. I think it was the stream Will was here and he had me try it. I can't remember. Um, I don't think you did. I think I did. I don't think you I did. Think You're trying to get out of it now, no, aren't I, you? I really. You're trying to get out of it. Somebody go back and look and rewind that play <laughs> and yeah, there you go. I think I did that one. Myers wants a horse collector hat. Oh. You, you think that'd be nice? I think I that'd do. be pretty good. that'd be nice. All right, I'll work on that, Myers. I like that idea. I will good work on idea. That. Good Remind idea. me in the morning. Cheers from Oklahoma sipping on Eagle Rare. Nulu finished in honey barrels. I have not. Bottled water comparison video. <laughs> okay. This is the, really the only one we drink. But yeah, we that's the only one you it. buy. I well, drink whatever's available. It's, it's 100%. I'd drink water out of a mud hole if I was thirsty. Mm, no. I like this water. This yeah. is my Kroger Deer Park 100% natural spring water. Okay. Joseph but we Magnus should do Cigar that. Blend. We should try different ones. We should blind waters. Waters. Well, like, I, does anybody want to watch that? Seriously? Would <laughs> no. that get views? <laughs> Probably this not. This water's better than that. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. But hey, you know, they say like spring water's the best, but. And something about Dasani is not good anymore. I don't know, but and then of course you know the best water in the entire world. Don't Who's you? they? What people? I don't know people around the internet. Those people use yeah. people. But you know the best water. I mean, you like baby oil. No, no, no. Made you, by Fiji. Fiji is baby oil. The best water ever. But Fiji's expensive. Yeah. S. Myers, the next bourbon hunt should be coming out this week, probably Friday. Um, the road trip back. I've got a, still got to film an ending to it. Um, but oh. I, it's been edited other than me wrapping up the, cause we had some, we lost some footage on the last day, so I don't have an ending. So I got to figure that out. So I'm waiting to see it. Um, but more content, still content. I don't, views are way down on bourbon stuff, bourbon shorts right now, but it seems to be everybody who creates shorts. So might have to do water. What's the proof on the EH Taylor barrel proof? Let's look at that real quick. Where'd we get this one? Is this the one we got on our This trip? was the lottery. Oh. And we just haven't even opened it yet. Uh, oh, see, that's a pretty bottle, too. 129 proof. Whoa. <laughs> 129. 129. What's this one? That's not barrel proof, though. No, but it's got a proof. <laughs> 90. It's yeah. 90 proof. Touche. Touche. It does indeed proof. have a proof. Thank you. <laughs> it's got all right, you're right. Well, I'm right. It has. A you want to sniff a bourbon and a rye, and see if you can tell the difference. Sure. Okay. You want me to leave, and then you? No, I'll just do it behind you. Hand me two Glen Cairns of different design. Um, there's this bruisal design that reminds okay. me of the beach. Old school barrel design. The barrel beach, head design. Beach, beach design is what I'm gonna call it. Okay. Um. Oh, and then well, that's not bruisal. That's the bourbon junkie. But you know, hey, that works too. Okay. Bourbon junkies. Bourbon junkies. Woo -woo. We love the bourbon junkies. I'm gonna open a brand new ride that I'm not. I'm not watching. Should I close my eyes? No, you just entertain people, Jill. Oh, I gotta entertain. Well, see that I can see because I can see you in the thingy back there. It doesn't matter, Jill. Do you? It know does it? matter because if I know which one's which, then. Okay. So then. So which one did I just pour? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I agree, Bill. Bourbon junkies rule. They're so good. They do use some language sometimes that, you know, Jill's not a language fan, but that's okay. To each his own. But that's why I would watch, I watch Matt more Here. at ADHD Whiskey. Because Pick which one of those is a ride, he is, Jill. He is not heavy on the language. All right. Pick which He's one. He's not heavy on anything anymore. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? I mean, if you're not drinking that. I am drinking it. Oh. I'm expecting this one to be good, but I haven't. We're going to find out here in a minute. Oh, well, this is definitely a rye. How do you know? It, it. You think I'd put a rye in the bourbon junkies glass? Makes no sense. Um... Y'all see how quickly I did that? Because I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this stuff. What makes you think that one's a rye? The 
this one smells definitely sweeter. Okay. And this one's a little bit more of the peanutty, bold peanut Peanut situation. I've never sniffed this one. I just opened this bottle. Okay. What if I told you neither of those was a rye? Well, then there you go. I'm wrong. That would be a lie. That's what you should say. <laughs> that would be a lie because this one's a rye. Z-Man with the $10 super Thank chat. You, Appreciate Z-Man. it. I'm right, Em. I'm right. This is a bourbon and this is a You're rye. You're correct. Yes. Yes. Look You're, at me. You have a better nose oh, than my goodness. whoever couldn't tell the difference. So Surely that, somebody, again, everybody though, you gotta, knows the difference. You got to try a rye. Like, you got to try a rye that's very rye forward. Right, if you if you're sniffing one, but I'm very proud of myself. You're very proud, but I've never tried this rye. So what let's is give that rye? This is thir- both of these are Thirteenth Colony out of Georgia. Oh really? Oh, I, right. I looked up. Thank you, Glenn. Way to go, Jill. Thank Way to go, Jill. Jill's good. Look at Jill. Jill's good. Stag eighteen is bad. We're gonna try that out here in just a minute. Like we're going to literally blind it against this and Blanton straight from the barrel here just shortly. Momentarily, what do you think? You didn't like it. You didn't like the bourbon. Hmm. Um. No. Okay. <laughs> I vote Jill represents Brickle and Matt. Matt yeah, probably. <laughs> probably needs to. Probably needs to. We'll get her in there. I'll. I'll start a candidacy. Uh, I have not had, what was somebody said, Starlight. Any tried any Starlight? I, I have one, like their Amberana finish, but that's the, the only one I have. Better. The rye is much better? The rye okay. is much better than the bourbon in this situation. The rye is much better. I thought this was pretty good. It's not, it's not like super top tier. You're right. The rye is much The first, the neck pour I had was a little, little better, but that could have been my taste buds. Rise much better in this but I still think it's it's a decent whiskey. Like most of the folks who are making bourbon around here are making super rapidly aged stuff that I just completely detest. And I think this is at least it's a legitimate um, bourbon. You think? I don't think that's rapidly aged. The rise better though. The rise interesting. I don't like rise though. So what am I supposed to do with that? For a $40, yeah, it's a $40 bottle of whiskey, too. Have you had the rye, Kyle? He he didn't have it here. He, I think he tried, we tried that one when you were here, right? The bourbon, but I don't think we opened the rye. The rye's good. I like the rye. They've got a double oak, too, but I, I wasn't a huge fan of the double oak. It's definitely rapidly aged. All right, Jill, you want to try this blind? How does rapid aging work? So rapid aging is basically where they throw, they'll throw oak chips in a barrel, they'll throw oak staves in a barrel, or they'll put it in a small barrel so that it gets more of that kind of charred, oaky flavor in a shorter time span, right? Um, And that just means it's not, like the only way to make great whiskey is in really big barrels for a long time. What is it? Someone asked, have we tried strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper? And I just thought that was funny because Jesse bought strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper. Did you like it? I didn't try it because it has calories in it, so I didn't. Well, I tried. I, I got the, it. was it the strawberry it's Dr. Pepper? It's not like a zero Dr. It's just like normal. But I got a strawberry zero Dr. Pepper while I was in Vegas. You, I did you not didn't try, try that? them because. It was no bueno. It doesn't sound like something was, I would want. It was want, not good. But no. Jesse got the strawberry and cream um, Dr. Peppers the other night when we had everybody over. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm, I, it might be good, but I didn't try yep. it because it was 150 calories per can. So I wasn't doing that. I understand. But you got the zero ones, and I didn't even try those. Didn't even try those. I should have tried those. We Rip. left them. Oh, we left them there. That's what we, we did. Just <laughs> we the, just left okay. them in the just, Airbnb. Y'all can have them. Um, haven't tried the rye yet. Maybe next time. Yeah, next time you come, I've got the double oaked for you as well. Yeah, the rye is better. Um, Freedom got a hold of the new riff. Looking forward to trying it. Uh, the new riff I've had is pretty good. I like it. They're saying it's the Dr. Great, Pepper like strawberry it. and cream is delicious. I have some upstairs. Haven't tried it. Haven't tried it. but I don't know if I want to try it. Everybody says it's good. Okay, Jill. I don't know. How are we going to do this? I don't know, babe. You're the... Are you ranking them or am I ranking them? Well... 
you're not you're not skewed by the bottle because you don't know really much about either of these bottles other than they're all supposed to be good, right? So how about you pour them so I don't know, okay. but you also rank them. Sure. Okay. We're just doing these three. These three is all we're trying. Right. I pour here. these, these three. three. You in pour a these bottle. three. Give me I a mean, nice. A give cup. me a nice size pour. I need, I need a nice two ounce pour in those. And then maybe a little bit so I can taste it. A two ounce pour, I think we'll both be okay. All right. But just you know, don't be too stingy. No, don't be stingy. And y'all remember what order it's in. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Um, let's see. What's this one? Okie dokie. We're going to go with this one first. Aw, thank you, Benny. That was really sweet. Oh, goodness. Yes, y'all please give Will a mixed drink video idea. I'd love to see that happen tomorrow. All right, so this one is going in here. I should probably write this down because you know I'm going to forget. Totally going to forget. I forget what I'm going downstairs for, so I'm definitely going to forget this. But I have my phone so I can write it down. Let's see. And then I'll never erase it off my phone, so it'll always just be there. Okay, so that was... Oh, huh. Okay. All right, so let... Ooh, hey, I gotta totally open this one? That's not fair. Oh, goodness. I get to do a cork pop? What? Oh, my goodness, the pressure. I'm not sure that this was an acceptable situation for me to handle. All right, y'all ready? Because I know I'm supposed to, like, put this in the... Okay, y'all ready? <sighs> was that good? I don't really know. That kind of sounded a little weak to me. Not sure. I'm not sure if that was good or not. All right, there we go. I think that was a weak court. Was that a weak? Yeah, thank you. I think that was a, a little weak. Sounded a little weak to me. Um. <sighs> All right. Man, these are, like, this one's not opened either. What is with all this? It's not opened. Thomas! You didn't open anything. You left it to me. All right, let's listen to this one. This has got to be better, right? Y'all ready? Oh, that was weak, too. Oh. Weak sauce. Do not know what's going on with these, but that just seemed a little weak. All right, I think we are ready. Y'all ready? All right, Thomas. Let's go. We're ready. Smell, smell the cork. Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> you got your Waffle House hat? All right. All right, we got A, B, and C. We ready now. We We're ready. ready. I get bored in there and start doing costume changes. Oh, I don't gosh. know what I'm supposed to do. So glad he doesn't have outfits in there. I can barely see through these glasses, though. They're, 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 they're Are those the ones you got at the... Yeah, I bought these at an estate <laughs> sale for like 20 bucks. I was like, I got to have those. These... These Ray-Bans belong to the doctor that delivered me as a baby. So No, those Ray-Bans belong to the doctor that delivered me as a baby. Well, 
Unfortunately, that, that was more work than delivering. It's the same doctor because we were delivered by the same doctor. I was just about to say that was more work. So you're in right, the Bishop. same year, by the way, at the same hospital. You were like a lot of months ahead of me. By though. the way, I was not. I was six months ahead of you're you. You're really old. That is not true. Okay, what what which order did you put these? <laughs> no. She almost told me. <laughs> what? She almost told me. No. Thank you. Healthy pour. I did healthy pours. These are good pours, Jill. Good I'm pours. going to be. I might. Was, okay. This, um, so this just a, just so you know, it's probably you, a good opportunity for the <laughs> it's like a Z-Biotics roll here. You I'm did be not. I'm drinking like six ounces of these. What? You didn't open two out of the three of these, so I, I had to open them and do the cork pop, and they were weak cork pops. Well, here's the problem, Jill. I can't get this open. First of all, second of all. It's a privilege and an honor to open bottles nice as these. It was, but and then so you I ought to be excited felt about the it. The pressure of the cork pop and they were weak, and it was like, is it my fault? Did I not do it right, or are they just the heck is weak? These were open before. Why are they not opening now? I don't know. You need me to help you. That end was stuck. Got I'm it. Stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let's just be a little safe here. We'll just be a little safe. This is not a sponsored ad. I can't see crap. Um, <laughs> this is not sponsored, but, you know, stuff sometimes get out of hand when you start hitting these. Don't get out of hand. I do look ready for a poker tourney. <laughs> is it, like... A I little gotta... late for Z-Biotics. Nah. It'll work. It'll work. What's it taste like? I don't want it. Just, what is it's it? like salty water a little bit. Like it's pretty... Salty water? Yeah. Okay. A little bit of a salt. Not too bad. Salt to water. We'll get it on down there. We'll be all right. Okay. So, color-wise, let's let's move these off to the side. Like, put them to the side where people can kind of see, but they're not in front of our face. Okay. All right. So, we got this one. All right. Yeah. You see the screen, so you can move them over a little further off to the side. Over there. So, color-wise, I don't know if you all can see this, but the middle one is lightest. So, the middle one is lighter. The color of A and C are actually very similar. Mm. Um, so that's interesting. What are the proof points on these? E.H. Taylor is 129. This is 128.5. 128.5. And Stag is 131. So if that's the case, then B should be Blanton's. Okay. If we're just going on color... Right? Like, proof should be darker, but they're so close that that's not going to hold up. Mmm. Smells delicious. I know that. It smells delicious. Ooh, okay. That one's different. <laughs> hmm. It's a little... Like, that one's very bright and sharp, and this one's a little more kind of muted and rusty smelling almost like a little you know I, rusty it's, yeah it's kind of hard to explain and this one's bright and sharp now the blanton's was the one that's been open the longest so that would maybe 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 these flavors have muted a little bit but i thought that i'm just guessing that's it, the blanton's I, no i'm just saying but having it open shouldn't... it can't open up but that one's been open for a while and those two are fresh, fresh. so those 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 will have much more intense flavor. So the Blanton's is very much at a disadvantage here. I will give it that. Batch 19's last week. Awesome. Hmm. What do you think? I would agree, but I think that B's only a slight... Not as bright. Age could make it darker as well there, Brian. Yes, overall it would make it darker. But just in a glass, I think the age <laughs> and, and the, you're right, right? That's part of it as well. But I do just looking at the bottles think the Blanton is lighter, but it's also half empty. So whatever that is, is a freaking good bottle though right here. Jason Mount said, spoiler alert, they're all 1792 foolproof. Maybe I swapped them all out. That would be funny. You might do that one time. See if you catch me. <laughs> like, don't do it now. Like, don't do it next stream because I'll be thinking about it. But one time right, randomly, randomly, one time randomly, we're gonna do this, and you're just gonna throw in 1792 for. I'm gonna pick out. If you had done that, if you had done that today, it would have been genius and hilarious. I know. 
I'm not a genius, though. I'm open to those types of shenanigans. I know you are. I know you are. I just wasn't that genius to think about it. Sorry. Darn it. If I was only a genius. Super chat! Yeah, I think that's the Blantons. I still think that's the Blantons. Thank you, Kay Johnson. Kay Johnson with the 999 Super Chat. It is, indeed, one hell of a lineup. Um, and so I these think are all foolproof. We probably should have opened a fresh Blanton straight from the barrel to uh, make this fair. We probably should have. Because I, I, I still think this is the Blantons. I think it tastes like a Blanton's. It's good, though. That's still a really good bottle. But it does taste a lot more muted compared to A. Mm. But, man, that is just... The proof is so intense on these. On A? Or all on of all, them? Really all of them, but really A. Uh, we don't really drink scotch too much there, Brock. Um, I A few rise. I'm starting to get more and more rise as I start to get into them, but... I'm just rubbing it in that I have more than one yes, Bradley, but I only have one more. So, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. It was, was not intended as such. If you come over, you can help me drink it. Oh, my gosh. Well, you like it or? That's delicious. Yeah, well, I, I moved it and out. I forgot that's, which one that is, but that's delicious. So, moving out is better. Move further. The closer to me means the worse Ooh, it is. That is good. I'm putting the better ones where it's mm. harder for me to reach it. That's really good. That is. Oh, wow. Okay. C's got something going on there. C's got something going on. C's got something going on. Like, C's got so much going on, I got to get rid of the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> the thickness on that is really nice. That is just draining down like syrup. Yes, the Dr. Pepper is always a palate cleanser in our house. As long as it's a zero. But that one's good, too. This, this is, is a, the only one I remember what it is. But it's the really only good. one you remember is Blanton's? I didn't say that. I just okay. know what it is. This is an interesting call here. This is... This is... Um, it's going to be a tough decision. They're distinctly different. And so you have to figure out what you're looking for in a whiskey, and you might choose differently than I do, right? Right. Because they're both delicious. I do think this one is... Well, I know it's for This me, one is noticeably different. Like, it, it's just... That one's not as good as these two. For me, I... If it's like just a random day and I just want a pour. I'm, I want something like a fray that's easy to drink. It's not going to like, I, I can actually sip on it yeah. and drink. But there are some like the Koi Hill. I could not have a full two ounce pour of Koi Hill. I, I would yeah. never finish that ever. But it is insanely delicious. The well, and this, these are kind of like that, exactly right? Exactly. Yeah, these are kind of like that. Especially, I haven't done D, I and, mean C yet. And but so that they're, one. they're asking how this compares to the B Tac, and it's just not a real fair comparison. Mm -hmm. uh, the B Tac stuff is just so it drinks much lower than it's proof to me. The flavors are just so deep and sweet and intense and mm -hmm. and awesome. And these are these are delicious. They're just not quite there on that intensity level of the flavors and the subtlety and nuance. So this one is a little more sharply flavored. Like it just leaves a lot of kind of how's what's the word I'm I'm trying to explain? Like the top of your tongue, the mid palate, is just kind of sharp and a little harsh. I don't think that one's harsh at all. This one? A little bit. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. That one this puts one, me. That one puts me a lot in the mind of Koi Hill. Like that. It's one, close. Not that it's as good at, but it is. It is close to good. As I think this one's a little more. That one's harsh. A little more sweet. A little more red fruit to me. No, I think that one's more harsh. David, one of these is blanting straight from the barrel. <clears throat> I think it's this one, but I don't know for sure. Jill knows, but she's not sharing yet. I don't want to know yet. 
I, I tell you what, something that you we will don't take, know. We will take the winner of this one. I know something that we'll you don't know. We'll take the winner of this one. And next week on the live stream, we will have y'all pick two barrel strength products because a lot of folks are like, Four Roses, put in Elijah Craig. We will take the winner from this one. We'll allow y'all to pick two more barrel strength opponents next week that we will blind against this. And we'll continue doing that every week until we figure out what's the best barrel strength one we have. Frederick Miller in the chat with the Aww, 499 Super you, Chat. Frederick. Frederick, thank you for the support and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. From yeah. Ohio. Yeah, so next week we can do that, but the next week we'll be gone. We will be gone the next week. So week after next, Unless we'll you be want gone. To do but that. Every stream we do, we'll I just, we'll I don't just think pick we another can one. do a live from Branson, but. We will not. Um, that's vacation. I'm going to take the vacation. vacation. I'm going to vacay. He needs a vacay. I'm going to vacay on the vacation. I know I've vacation. missed some streams, but they have not been vacation. No, They've this one's very an actual vacation. Work. And plus, I don't know where we're staying if we actually will have internet that's sufficient. Oh, we're going to be in the woods. We're going to be way in the woods in Branson, so I don't think we're going to be able to have any interconnected web situations. Wow. I just don't know. You're having a hard time with this one. I think I already know which one's the best. I, I just think I'm going to have to go with A. Like, I just think I, I just think that one has, it's a little bit of sharpness, it's a little bit of harshness, but it could be, you know, it could be the proof coming through, although all of them are super high proof. But I feel like it has a little more going on, right? There's a little more to it. But that one's a close second. And I think this one, although good, although that's a good, shit. You have that last taste and you're, and you're calling it and you have that last taste and you're like, well, that hit me a little different. I think we're going to be different on this because... I I am leaning more toward a, a no, definitely we're on board with that. That's number one. Uh, we might differ on because this one still seems a little. I mean, it's good. I'm not saying it's bad at all. It's good, but it's just a little too harsh. It, it just makes me. It's not easy to. It, it, there's something going on there that I'm not the biggest fan of. Do we agree A is the best, though? A is the best. Hello from Canada. Is that okay. Keel Stewart? Hello, What's Keel. B? Um, how do you rank them first? How do I rank them? Yes. A, B, C. So I did A, C, B. That's what I thought we would differ in. And, look, I'm not saying C is bad because C is not bad. Yeah. But for me, A is everything that you want. It's It's got that. It's got that thing that you want. That's something. There's a substance there, and it's easy. To I'm drink. gonna be honest with you. These are so high proof. My palate has shut down. B is just. It's a little weaker. I'm not gonna say it's. It, it doesn't have as much going on as A does, but it's just overall something I could drink. Mm -hmm. C has a lot going on. It's just a little too harsh. I'm just gonna have to go on my first go through with these. Now it could be. Because my palate was getting user, 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 user more, too. more used to mm -hmm. the higher proof as we went through it, but by this point, it's hard to tell a difference because my palate has just quit. That's like, what was it? Three ounces, four, you know, <laughs> three or four ounces of hundred and thirty proof whiskey, and my palate has just said, "You're just, you're, you're trying gonna... to poison us. We're going to quit." Hello, Jason and Kelly from Canada. Canada, Canada, as you would say, right? Well, I guess people don't like it when I say Canadian. I, I have, I mean, no disrespect whatsoever when I say Canadian. That to me is like, because I really love Canada. Yeah, you just like to be funny. Well, I know Canadian. we just started saying that. I don't know. I'm sorry if it's disrespect. I'm not trying. Like, I love Canada. I would, if I was ever gonna move anywhere, it'd be the beach or Canada. I'm not going to move anywhere, but if I, I did... I'm beach. I'm not moving to Canada. I'm not you, moving anywhere now. The garage not, is getting built, Jim. You've not been to Canada, so you have no clue how awesome it is. It's I, awesome there. It's cold. Canada. That's all I need to know. It wasn't cold when we went. It well, is. it was a little windy, but it wasn't cold. All right, Jill. B. What's B? B is... What do you think B is? Black straight from the barrel. Darn it. You're wrong. Really? No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Okay. 
and C is Stag Jr. Stag. No. Not? Okay. So C is the E.H. Taylor? C is E.H. Taylor. Hmm. So there. My palate's quit. That I'll means honest, A is quit. Stag Jr. Hmm. So we got Stag, Blanton's. Yeah. I should have got that one a Stag, e. I'll be honest Taylor. with you. That one has very much a stag profile, but it's been so long since I've really drank stag. So I apparently I that really one like does stag. have that one does have kind of a stag profile to it. Stag has that kind of deep, almost like it's, molasses oh, flavor yeah, it's to so it, right? Good. So it's like that so strong, good. sweet molasses, and that's what I picked out that I liked about that one. So I, I should have done that one with stag. I just don't drink. I really don't drink a lot of stag. I have that bottle of stag right there that is three quarters of the way full. I've had that one open for. Six months, and the last one took two years to drink. Uh, yes, Zach. It's when no longer junior, but... Branson, we mean Branson, Missouri. That is where we'll be. It is no longer Stag Junior, but just because it has, like, an inferiority complex doesn't mean I'm going to quit calling it Junior. Oh, goodness. Cheers from Denver. Do you enjoy Colorado whiskey? I don't know if I've ever had a Colorado whiskey. I've had a... What was it? Stranahan's in that Colorado... Um, but I had, like, their Diamond Peak, which was, like, no bueno. You woke up the Netherlands. Good morning, lovely people. Netherlands. We've been to the Netherlands. We spent a little time in Amsterdam. We spent a lot of time in Utrecht. Utrecht. And then we, we went, up to Zan the Zan went up to Zanseshans. The Netherlands is and awesome. And got some wood shoes and some a big cheese wheel. It was fun time. Great time. We loved it. We'd love to see it against GTS. Okay, so Stag Jr. won. So next week... Y'all pick two barrel strengths we'll try it against. We might even try it against, like, nothing's off the table. If you want 1792 barrel proof, we'll do that. If you want GTS, we'll do that. Next week, when my palate has recovered, because honestly, I barely taste the Dr. Pepper at this point. <laughs> Can Canadian can't make good whiskey. Can't make whiskey good. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't had a Canadian whiskey that I loved. We had a sponsor. We had a sponsor reach out, uh, a Canadian whiskey, and they're like, "Here's our whiskey. We'll send it to you. We're gonna pay you like fifteen hundred bucks, something. I don't know. It's, it's a thousand. It may be twelve, thirteen hundred bucks. Just do it short." And me and Jill tried it. I was like, "This is this is not good." So I did a video where I just tried to not say it was good, and they didn't like the video. So apparently they wanted me to say that it was good, and I couldn't. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So that's such you'll an never, honest man. So y'all will never see that sponsored video. Like, what? Maybe, I just don't want to tell folks to drink something that's just like. But I honestly didn't think it was that bad. It's it just was it's not just, like wonderful, but it wasn't bad either. It tasted like aged rubbing alcohol. No, it did not. Yeah. No, it did not. Is Stag allocated? Yes, absolutely, one hundred percent. He's exaggerating. He Parker's Heritage lot. Tenure Heavy Char. I don't have that one. Lord, Sean. I wish. Hook me up. Hook me up. <laughs> Send me a sample. We'll throw that one in there for sure. Uh, don't you love salty? I mean, honestly, salty caramel crown is actually pretty good. I'll give you that. Salty but caramel that's not, anything is pretty that's good. That's not Canadian whiskey. That's flavored Canadian whiskey. And the flavored crowns are actually pretty good for flavored stuff. I, I like the crowns better than most flavored whiskeys, but I'm not going to just drink mean? Crown most of the time. What does what mean? Is Jill a shill? What the, What does that mean? Are you a shill? What's a shill? Well, I mean, technically, a shill is somebody that is in a deal only, um, like, they, they're kind of guaranteed to lose. They're just there to lose. I don't think that's what he means. And you could say shill, are you, like, just trying to promote something? Are you just trying to sell something? Oh, no! I don't know. Oh, about the Canadian... No, Maybe. it wasn't that Maybe. bad. No. It, Jill liked... Like, that's the great that's thing about... That's the thing is, I thing liked whiskey. it better than he did. She likes stuff like that, and I'm oh, very... Oh, an accomplice. Am I not She means an accomplice? That's what Will said. I don't know. Maybe he's Googling it. <laughs> I don't Google, know. Google, he's got Google. I don't know what I am. I know in, like, sales, she'll, she'll means you're like, you're like the dummy. You're like the... You're like the folks that's putting e not don't mean it like that, but like you're the person that's putting effort into it with no chance of winning the deal. So I, I know it from that context, but it means an accomplice. She is definitely my accomplice, if that's what it means. Can you think of a bourbon with buttery know. notes? Buttery notes. Not right offhand. I'm sure I've said buttery smooth about one, but 
Somebody said he's an accomplice to a swindler. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe. <laughs> she is my accomplice. If I'm a swindler, then yes. Then yes. Any Kentucky owl coming your way in a bourbon hunt? No. Uh, like, the problem is, is I've got Kentucky owl confiscated, and it's fine. I like it. It's not bad whiskey. It's not $150 whiskey. It's not bad. So, like, I hear the Kentucky owl, like, batch nine, one of the best whiskeys ever, like that kind of stuff. But I just can't bring myself to pay three or four hundred dollars for a bottle. I just can't do it. So I don't. <laughs> I don't. I paid two hundred and fifty dollars. What, what I paid like it was about three hundred with tax for a what was it? A, 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 a Knob Creek eighteen, and that's like the second most amount of money I've ever paid for a bottle of whiskey. And I'm like, this was not okay. <laughs> Caribou Crossing is Canadian Blandons. Uh, okay, they can have it. <laughs> what is it? What are you laughing at? Oh, just the whole conversation about the shield thing. They're having a whole shield conversation. A whole shield conversation. Sh Jill's a shield. Jill the shield. I'm a shield. You are for. You will forever be known. No. You are anointed. No. Jill the shield. No, you don't even know what a shield is. Yet, it's an accomplished so. to me doing something dumb. No, or it's somebody who, like, basically, maybe they were saying because I said that the Canadian whiskey was good that I was just trying to be, no, it was pretty good to me. It Jill wasn't that bad to me. You can drink all of it. We won't mention the brand on here because. But only because I like. They didn't pay me. Canadian but, stuff, and you don't. There you go. Buttery notes on Willet Pot Steel? Okay. I've got a Willet Pot Steel, but it's pretty old. They've changed the whiskey in it, so I can't even try it. <laughs> Uncle Nate's like, easy, William. Easy. A person who publicly Uncle held for give credibility to a person or organization without disclosing that they have a close me. relationship. I have every with confidence in that. Okay. Uncle Nate's got my back. Uncle Nate's got the back. Got my always. back. He's always. No. Nola. I, Nolan. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go with Nolan. Oh, uh, we don't really drink scotch. No. Will, you know I'm your mama, right? So, Freedom, if you got Kentucky Owl for $70, it wasn't like Kentucky Owl. It was like one of their other brands. Like, Kentucky Owl has like batch 8, 9, 10, 11. That, I think MSRP on that bottle is like 300 bucks. I could be wrong, but you may have got like, they have like confiscated or all of this stuff. Um, here, every time I've seen it, it's like 150 bucks. Jill the Shield shirt. Should we do Jill the Shield no, I gotta figure out what a shill is before I agree to that. Would people buy Jill the Shill shirts? No, I don't like that. You don't I, like it? it? It seems negative. To it me. seems very negative. I mean, maybe it wasn't meant to be negative, but it just seems like negative. Sorry. When you pay over 150 for a bottle, you don't like it all. You end up with tears in your bourbon. I Ooh. cried a lot of bottles, but not because I paid 150 dollars. Just because they suck. At nine o'clock, we have to do the laffy taffy. Nine o'clock. Yes, we are gonna so. It's 9 o'clock. It's 8.55. I know. So, at 9 o'clock, five minutes, we are going to drink the Laffy Taffy, Laffy Taffy infused ancient age. So, Let me just for those tell that weren't I'm not here, excited about this. And we're going to try it against Howlerhead. And we're going to have to clean all this crap out of the way because I need to edit this into an actual video. Oh, my goodness. I thought y'all loved me. Damon got the Bruzel t-shirt quick. Awesome. A shill is a fake or false. See, apparently not exactly. I mean, it kind of is. So, so, and I, the only way I've used it is sometimes I felt like a partner introduced us into a sales opportunity knowing we had no chance of winning it. Mm -hmm. And we were just the shill where another company was set up to win it. Like, we were set up for failure and so it's kind of like uh, we're an accomplice to them winning the deal, right? Like we're just there to lose so that they can win. We're just set up to look like an idiot so that they can win the deal. That's happened to me a few times. I am life. definitely not a gambler or a swindler. That is not me. No, but you're an accomplice to me swindling, I guess. But you didn't swindle because you wouldn't do it because you didn't like it. I agree. It was just a funny comment. Yeah, I know. Like, nobody meant anything by it. I, I'm not. I'm just going. I'm trying My to figure, last name's Gamble. I'm trying to figure out what a swindler or a swill or sw whatever that was. A, a, a shill. <laughs> you, you're okay, Jill? I'm good. I'm just trying to figure out what that was. Howlerhead is banana whiskey. This has Put Laffy Taffy banana. Banana flavored Laffy Taffy. 
soaked in ancient age right here. And we're going to try this in about four minutes. And this is just, is this bourbon? No, this is just flavored whiskey. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not even it sure. It says bourbon. Does it say bourbon? Kentucky straight bourbon. Okay, so I guess it is yeah. with natural banana flavor. It is 80 proof, See? so it, it meets the requirement of a bourbon. Of what used to be a bourbon. It's technically no longer, as soon as you add banana flavor, it is no longer a bourbon. Oh. But they get by it by saying, it was a bourbon, and we added well, we flavors. Added stuff yeah, we did some stuff to make this very much not a bourbon. Slide all that stuff over there. This is probably, like I, these were so good we should be drinking them, but at the same time, trying to not overdo it. Try Elvis, Elvis's favorite whiskey. There's like an Elvis <gasps> brand whiskey, but Elvis had a favorite whiskey. What was it? Because I it's love probably, Elvis. It's probably peanut butter flavor whiskey. Um, you're stuck on an island. One choice: your favorite bourbon or favorite lady. I mean, I'm gonna like. Here's the thing, though, Jill. Here's the question. If I say favorite lady, like I would obviously pick you over a bourbon, but like I don't want you stuck on an island. I want you here taking care of the kids. So then it becomes like this really, it's a much more deep and complicated question. Because now I've like, if I'm like there, and then I'm like, a genie says, you want your favorite bourbon, you want your favorite woman, then you're just going to appear on the island. Mm -hmm. But then you're not here with the kids. So would you rather be here with the kids and me have a really nice bourbon on the island? <laughs> or should I just wish for J-Lo? I'm just saying I need some company, and I had to pick a woman. Your she favorite could, woman. She could dance. No, your favorite woman. So yeah. if you don't pick your favorite woman, then you better pick the darn bourbon. So which bourbon? I don't care what William bourbon. William LaRue? You don't? Okay. I don't care what right. bourbon. You just better not pick J-Lo. <laughs> uh, <sighs> are these fresh glands? Yeah. Hmm. Although I'm not happy with you right now. Why? Because you're going to pick J-Lo? You don't like J-Lo? I love J-Lo. I think she's amazing. She's your favorite woman. But Why can't she be mine? Because I'm your favorite woman. That burnt my hand. I'm not but sure I don't want you, But I don't want you to have to be stranded on an island. Okay, well then pick the bourbon. But I wanted some company. No, the bourbon's your company. Shakira. Hey, Matt Shakira, says. Shakira. That's not a bad choice. What? All right, for Matt. him, for him, it's not a bad choice. Jill selling the Lincoln. No, I'm not selling Maggie. I'm just gonna take Maggie out for a, a beach trip while he's on an island. You couldn't drive that Lincoln if you. I wanted could to. drive Maggie if I wanted to. You didn't smell it first. You just poured. Who it. needs to smell it? Oh my gosh. Nobody needs to smell it. You smell it in the Glen. You don't smell Ooh. it here. <laughs> Man, you making a mess. That's what I'm here for. Okay. So apparently, I need a maid. Hmm. <laughs> this just broke. It broke. It popped out of its socket there. You, it sounded Thank you. like you. He is digging the hole very deep. I'm That's good. a real deep hole he digging. I'm good at climbing out of holes. Mm -hmm. It's my specialty. Mm -hmm. well, you you, you sounded climbing. like you liked it. Smelling it. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It just kind of smells like whiskey. Like, you can't smell the right, banana at all. you can't smell the banana at all. Did you get Maggie's caps and fenders back yet? I did get the uh, the fender skirts are back. I got some screws to try Ooh. to mount the trim. Tomorrow morning, Jill's <laughs> going to be mad at me, but she has to get up at 7 o'clock to drive me over to my mechanic. So, I've got to get a couple of leaks fixed yeah, on it so I can road trip it again. has me getting up. And leaving the house at 7 a.m. I mean, technically, I want to be over there at 7. Okay, well, getting up and leaving the house at 6.15 6 yeah. yeah. a.m. to drive Maggie to get fixed. and I, So you don't like Maggie that much? I love saying. Maggie. You don't like her that but much? But it's 6.15 in the morning. All right, Jill, you doing this first or me? I mean, they hit the goal, man. They hit the goal. What am I'm I supposed to do? First. 
Yeah, Nate, I tried to six, ferment anything six, in one of my favorite whiskeys. I have not tried to ferment anything in anything ever. Okay, so I'm going to try very hard to taste this and not make a face <laughs> of goodness or badness. Doug on. just got the bruisal pick last week. Nice. Can Mackie be the favorite lady? What am I going to do with her on an island? Play the radio? I don't know. <laughs> radio barely works. Run out of gas in about a week. What island are you on? I don't know. I was on a because deserted you know, island. I love islands. I love the beach. I but love you want to be away from the kids or me? No, it's but your can pick. we take pick the me kids? or the kids? They didn't say anything about having the kids on the island, Jill. Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm trying to get over there early. Will we may not be back at eight, but somebody will let you in. I'll or you realistically, key. you can just sit outside. I'll leave you a key. Um, so I'll text near, you privately. Near Maybe. downtown Spunky, not a whole lot going on in Vegas. You got to get out of town a little bit. Liquor lineup was pretty good in North Vegas there. <laughs> See, Frank said, wait, you're dragging Jill along to pick up Maggie, but you won't take her on the island? I'm Thank trying you. to be respectful of Jill's time. Like if Jill was like, if somebody was like, Jill, you're stuck on an island. Do you want TJ there? She'd probably be like, nah. That's not true. Nah, just stay home and keep take care of the kids. Why would I not want you on the island? Because who's going to take care of the kids? Are the kids old enough to take care of themselves at this right point? Right now, no. Well, no, not. They're uh, not. So are we talking about right now? Like, this was a hypothetical question. I feel like you're reading way into it. Okay, here we go. This smells like banana. Banana throw up, but banana nonetheless. She gonna explode? What do you think? I'm not telling you. <laughs> You're not tell you won't tell me what you think about it. Must <laughs> I held it in. Whether it's good or bad. All right. Is it better than this or that? Here, yeah, let me try. See, Will can watch the kids. Okay, that's weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, there's no banana flavor to it at all. At all. Whew. It tastes like whiskey and, like, I just mix whiskey and milk. Like, coconut milk. It, I, mix, I mix whiskey and coconut milk. It's got a lot of milk. coconut milk flavory stuff going on. This one's got way. It just tastes like, it tastes like whiskey and coconut milk. Way more bananas and going on. And this has on. a lot more banana. Way more banana going on. Well, that sucks. I thought this had a chance. Mm -mm. It does not. It's very blah. Like, there's really... Should we have shaken it up? I forgot the lid wasn't on it. I, be, I forgot it wasn't strapped down. I'm going to be honest with this you. This is very blah. I just spl I splashed, like, this god-awful crap all over me. Yeah, whiskey and milk. That's basically, it's like coconut milk whiskey with no hint of banana in there at all. Like... It smells a little like banana if I shake it up. I got some on my lip. <laughs> I got it all over me. I'm gonna be honest. I forgot that the, that does not taste like banana at all. I forgot that the uh, the little metal thing that holds it together. I mean, I bought these at the estate sale where I bought the glasses yeah. from the doctor that delivered us. Oh no, Frank, you ain't got to worry about it. I don't sleep on the couch, man. It's sleep. Mm -hmm. If she don't want to sleep in the bed with me, she just goes somewhere else to sleep. There's plenty of beds. I don't sleep on the couch. Yeah, that is not awful, actually. <laughs> it's not awful. I mean, honestly, uh, it's not whiskey, awful. whiskey and coconut milk <laughs> tastes it's not pretty bad. good. This has way more banana. This is not horrible. It's either. not good. It's not. No, it's not I disgusting. Mean, you thought it would be disgusting, I thought it would be but disgusting, it is not that. But... It's just, it's just bad whiskey. You like the banana howler head? It's not bad. You need a mixed drink with it, though. We're only an hour into this stream. What would you make with a banana howler head whiskey stuff? What would you? What, what kind of drink would you make with that? I don't know. I don't know. What would y'all make with the banana howler head? Oh, we should figure something out to make with that. I don't know if we have like a lot of folks would probably say put that with like screwball, like peanut butter whiskey. It'd make like a banana like that's the Elvis a banana and peanut butter. Oh. 
Yeah. Would it be good in a pina colada? I bet yes. it would. Actually, I bet it would be. Good thought, Jason. That's, yes. I need that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. We should take that to the beach when we go. And 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 <laughs> I'm not going to the beach. Take that with you, please. That would be a good pina colada. I bet it would be. It would be good. Yeah. Make a milkshake with it. Oh. Yeah. I don't understand why we got to have alcohol in our milkshakes, though. <laughs> Appreciate it, Scott Lucas. Thank you. Jill's wearing the, uh, what do you got? The, the... Oh, I got Peerless. Oh, shh. You had one of our shirts on earlier, didn't you? Oh, yeah, but. And you swapped it on me. Because it was dirty. Gummit. I was Sorry. about to, was I was dirty. about to show some merch and <laughs> now, you just this killed is, it. This is what I got when we went on the bourbon trail. We need a steak with, so. It's Peerless. Like, Sandy, do you want us to cook a steak on the live stream or? Because I, I can do a ribeye. I do a mean ribeye. Oh, we've talked about doing a doing a cooking one. A cooking live stream. Cooking yeah, live we stream. did talk about doing that. But like getting the camera outside, light camera's fine. Getting lights outside. Well, we ain't gonna be outside. We'd just be in the kitchen. If we're gonna grill it though. Oh yeah. We were talking about doing. What were we talking about doing? We just have to do it during the day. You know, you were talking about cooking something specifically. Oh, last time it was um, banana bread pudding. No, it was yeah, it was a bourbon bread pudding. Okay, we want to do that one day. Yeah, but cooking a steak outside. With bourbon glaze, uh, that'd be fun too. We would have to do like when. Oh, but soon it'll be lighter at night. Still, like the day, it will be. It's not going to be that light at eight o'clock. Oh no, not eight. Yeah. We could do it earlier though, maybe. It's fine. We'll just bring a grill inside. You can't bring a grill inside. Who said? <laughs> no. What's my take of Jim Beam stuff? It depends. Like normal Jim Beam's just fine to me. They're higher proof stuff. Like, honestly, I really like a Baker 7. A Booker's Little Book, those are good. I like those. I enjoy those. But Baker 7 is probably my favorite Jim Beam product. Um, but we, we should just set up the stream upstairs one day and just do, we'll just do like cooking and drinking. Do y'all want to see that? Would that interest you? We like to eat, obviously. I don't like and to eat. I never eat that much. I, I'm, I just, I barely eat at all ever. Okay, but said no fat guy ever. We like to eat, and we like bourbon. Chud's so, barbecue is getting into bourbon. Who is Chud's? I don't know who that is. Oh. Hot dogs or hamburgers, Jill? If you had to pick one. Well, that's tough. It's not tough. It's Hot freaking dog. hamburgers. Mm -mm. It's ham. What? Oh my god. We might have to get divorced after this. That is an egregious mistake. I haven't had a good hamburger in a very long time. But, like, just because you have sucky hamburgers doesn't mean hamburgers is not superior to a hot dog. Mm. Like, think about the best hamburger in the world and the best hot dog. Now, you got hot dog. You don't get, like, bratwurst. You don't get any. You get no, hot dog. But you can make a really good hot dog. Like, you but can put chili be, and sauerkraut and mustard. It can't and, be a really good hamburger. It can. No. No. Sometimes. No. Like, if you, have a, if you have a crappy hamburger wait, wait, and a really good hot dog, fine. When have you had a really good hamburger lately? Oh, God. Like, where, where did you have a really good hamburger at? You won't let me eat bread. Besides that fact. Trying to be not fat, so I'm away from bread. <laughs> so I haven't had any hamburgers anywhere. No, you've had hamburger. You can have the meat. Like, honestly, it's hard to find a hot dog. Well, it's hard to find. It's hard. It'll happen. I'm not saying it's impossible. But you got to be, like, top-tier hot dog to beat a McDonald's hamburger. What? You got to be top-tier hot dog. Like, gourmet, no. best of the best hot no, dogs no. to beat a McDonald's hamburger. Nope. McDonald's is, mm -mm, no. You do not get a, mm -mm. My hot dogs, I make at home beat a McDonald's hamburger. You just boiling some weenies, throwing it in some low-carb buns. That's no. not gourmet hot dogs? No. You grill a hot dog, and you put it in a real bun, not a keto bun, and you put some sauerkraut, and you put some chili, and some onions, and some mustard, and there you go. Thank you very much. Better than a McDonald's hamburger. Any day of the week. Any day Thank of the week. Thank you, McDonald's any, is any, a hamburger. Any Ugh. day of the week that doesn't end in Y. I'm just saying, like, it's there's no way. There's no way. McDonald's hamburger does not beat 
A hot dog. No. Mm -mm. Now, maybe some really good hamburger place. No. Somebody mentioned um, Irish Bread Pub. I don't know. Maybe they have a good hamburger. The Irish Bread Pub actually has the best burgers in Auburn, Opelika area. The only problem with the Irish Bread Pub is they had like two hamburgers. <laughs> you got like two choices. So you don't have a real large selection, but what they cook is actually freaking delicious. But, and they win the like burger kind. I can't get this shit to work right. Um, they win like the burger contest a whole bunch, but like hot dogs are just inferior. I don't want to, like, I, I don't even they're know how to make inferior. this argument. They're, they're not. They can be really good. And they're way better than a McDonald's hamburger. They're not. Like a double quarter pounder, no uh, onions. No, thank you. Better than That's any, not even actual hamburger better, meat. Better than any hot dog I've ever had in my entire life. Right there. Double quarter pounder, no onions. Better than any hot dog I've ever had. I don't agree. Because you that. don't get brat dogs. <laughs> you don't get brats. You don't get any of the really good stuff. I, you're I, like, you're like freaking wiener, bun, mm -hmm. and some crap on top. Well, that's better not than even a close McDonald's to a, Not hamburger. even close to a mediocre hamburger. That's not true. Yeah. I don't know. Where do, where do we go from here? Like, I don't know where we how we got here or where we go. <laughs> you don't know how we got here? Yeah. Any review on Knob 9? Too oaky and I can't finish the bottle. Interesting. Uh, I don't have a 9. All of have? the Knob Creek I have is much older than that. So if the 9's too oaky... Don't try any Knob Creek. That's all I can say. Need to try Chris Hot Dogs in Montgomery. Very old hot dog place. So we've got like, you've got like, um. Oh, stories. Stories. Thank you. They do the foot long. They throw some chili on it. I'm not saying it's not good food. It's good. I'm not saying it'll make it like. Are, it, you, it, are you saying that it will stories make me fat hot dog is not better than McDonald's quarter pounder, whatever you just crap said? Yeah, I'm saying that. Like, I would, yes. Would I rather have a Story's hot dog with chili and all the stuff or a double quarter pounder? I'm just going to take the double quarter pounder. Oh, my take gosh. It. I'm just take no. It. Like, like, Absolutely not. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Like, if you picked any other hamburger joint in the world, maybe, but McDonald's quarter pounder? I'm just what? saying. No, what, that's you. what I'm. What I'm trying to do is make an example to show you how <laughs> far superior the hamburger is to the hot dog. Uh, uh, the hamburger is a farce. I don't like. I don't like wieners. Is what Dustin says. I just don't <laughs> like wieners. Jill, on the other hand, appears to like wieners a little better than hot dogs. Than hamburgers. Or hamburgers. Sorry. Just like that joke is a little too edgy. <sighs> Daniel, Daniel with the New Zealand dollar ninety nine. I don't even know what that is, is but New Zealand. <laughs> but uh, do they thank have you McDonald's the in chat. New Zealand? Surely, I they bet do. they do. I bet they, they do. do. They McDonald's. I don't know everywhere, if they're the right? same though, because overseas they like have smaller portions. Like they just try to make us fatter, and right. over there they're like these people like good food, so we'll make good food for them. Right. Yeah. So maybe, maybe. A quarter pounder in New Zealand could compare to a hot dog. Hot dogs are, this is just garbage. Let's move on. We got to move on to something more entertaining oh, than this. because you're not okay with my opinion. No, I'm, I'm completely okay with your opinion. I assume the people who are watching this live stream. Hamburger because, or cheeseburger. Because we've gone for two from 250 people to 192 since <laughs> we started care about talking about hot dogs hot versus dogs. hamburgers. Okay. That we actually want to talk about something people want to watch. Well, a royale with cheese. That's what they call it in overseas. It's a mm. it's not a Big Mac. It's a royale with cheese. Bruzel Will says McDonald's burgers suck. No, Will, I Thank agree you. with you that they are not the greatest hamburgers in the world. What I'm saying is a mediocre hamburger is better than a great hot dog. That is what I. That is my. That is my opinion. <laughs> Hello yeah. from Japan. Jill's opinion is fine. But wrong. It's just wrong. <laughs> exactly, Adam. Fine. Thank you, Adam. All the wiener talk is making us uncomfortable, according to Brock there. Oh, it's just a hot dog, people. In and out beats. Oh, In and Out. What do you think about it? It's been a while since so In and Out. We have an In and Out burger. I don't know. Where, is that Vegas? Vegas? Vegas is probably the last time you've had one. It's probably been They're a while okay. for you. 
Are we oh, counting chili dogs? Do you dogs? know who yeah, does a good burger? Who? That we haven't been to in forever. I don't know. Um, I don't know who does it. You the, tell me. The, Let me know. The place. Um. Oh my goodness. What? It's in Auburn. Downtown. Cheeburger? No. Well, Cheeburger. Five guys? Five guys. Five guys does a good burger. Yeah. Better yeah. better than any hot dog in the world. Eh, maybe. <laughs> but that's a good burger. That's a pretty good burger. I will agree. I'm not a Whataburger right. fan. She's going to say five guys. She did. She did. I did. I said five guys. I was trying to lead her to Cheeburger because it closed. Cheeseburger did close, but it was really good too. Whataburger's pretty good. She doesn't like it though. Mm-mm. She doesn't like it. She Every time I say, let's go to... Let's go to Whataburger and wait in line. She's like, no. It was not. It's not been good any time I went. Five, di- five guys. We need to do. So this is a video we're going to have to do, apparently. Oh, five guys hot dog versus hamburger. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the, the hot dog's not going to work. Not going to win that. Like, know, it doesn't stand a chance. Good, so I don't know. Is there a White Castle? I don't know if any White Castle's around here. You could buy them at, like, Kroger and reheat them in your microwave. Me and Mark. I think it's Mark. That doesn't like Disney too, and we're just not we're not compatible. I'm sorry, Mark. Mark says Five Guys sucks. And, he says and, Five and, Guys and sucks, sucks, and I think he's I think he doesn't like Disney. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mark. You don't like Disney either. Mark may be my guy. <sighs> me and Mark may be on the same wavelength here. <laughs> See, Mark, you just got to marry someone completely opposite. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord Stride says I'm still digging that hole. <laughs> Wahlburgers. I He's done been Wahlburgers digging a yet. hole for 25 years. Yeah, I've been in a hole That's forever. That's a big old hole. Are you, is that a fat joke? No! Uh, White Castle is a northern restaurant. In the south, you got Crystal. They're basically... Yeah, yeah, we got Crystal. You don't want that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants that. Lord have mercy. I'm not even... Is there still a Crystal around I here? Correct. I don't even know. Mark does not like Disney. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. I don't think Mark would like coming uh, around me. The E.H. Taylor was really good, Gringo. It was second to the stag for me in this blind, but it was actually really good. I can't At least you agree whiskey's good. Oh, yeah. Maybe Zach's me wife and, hates I think, the stuff. I think me and Mark agree on bourbon, maybe? <laughs> we don't really agree on other things, but that's okay. My dad used to buy a lot of crystal. I don't know why. So, like, Will in the chat, every time he would come to see Will, he would just bring a bag of crystals. Little T. At Wh- little T, as he called him. Little, little T. T. Thomas William Gamble. Right, Little T. So, he T. called him Little T, and he'd bring him a bag of crystals. And, like, none of us cared anything about crystals. He, like, when, <laughs> when, I was, when I was a kid, we would stop at crystals a lot. Um, but I don't know why. He would just stop at crystals. He'd buy, like, $20 worth of crystals, which was, like, 100 freaking crystals. <laughs> If we're being honest, like that was a whole sack of crystals. Every time he'd come over, he'd just bring a bag of crystals. So that's that's the only like that's the only thing I, only positive thought I have about crystals. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shake Shack's pretty good. They, we don't have. Shake. We do. Yeah, we had we one. Had it closed. One it closed. It closed. Yeah. It was pretty good though. Jill, uh, my wife, and I are totally different. Uh, Mark says. Okay. Does she like Disney? And. Five guys? <laughs> we don't have any Japanese whiskeys, although I'm probably about to start adding some to the collection here soon. Have I ever tried Japanese whiskey? I don't That's think That's not so. sake. No, 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 okay. no. That's um, So what we're talking about there, it's, it's going to be kind of a malty whiskey, almost like a... Um, almost like an Irish whiskey. It's going to okay. be a little different. So did I you, might did you like try it. the red breast? Not sure. Okay, so that's the best Irish whiskey yes. I've ever had. Do you want to try it? Yes. Give me a fresh glen. Oh, sake is rice wine. Oh, okay. Well, I like sake. So. I think the red breast is back here. Find me a, gri- a fresh glen can. A fresh glen. Someone just poured some habaki. I'm assuming that means that is uh, Japanese whiskey. <laughs> back on track. Nate, you don't you don't like our hot dog hamburger controversy we got going on here? It's not a controversy. It's a proven fact that hamburgers are superior. Uh, see? What? Kyle's wife. She loves Disney and Five Guys. That's why we get along. All right, Jill. So this is a red breast 
Irish whiskey, single pot this steel. This is the one I had that was PX good. edition, finished in PX sherry hogshead, product of Ireland. Hogshead? Like I, a, it's like a wine. I think it's okay. like a wine. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. A product of Hamburger Ireland. Hamburger or hot, hot dog. Will, Will T's in, he's on the right side. How many Glens do we have? A ton. I literally had to wash 50 of them before we started this live stream. <laughs> and I'm not joking. We had a bunch of people over this weekend. They were yeah. all dirty. I washed a bunch of Glen Cairns. That's the benefit of selling Glen Cairns is like we have them all shipped here and I just keep a box every time we get a case of them. Yes. We're, we definitely need a dishwasher. What's downstairs. the best whiskey with a hamburger? Ooh. <gasps> or a hot dog, but nobody cares about hot dogs, Spunky. Don't don't bring that shit up. <laughs> I don't know. Technically a Scott. It's not technically. Wouldn't you say maybe like a Jack and Coke? It's a product of Ireland. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. I'll be honest, a Jack a Jack and Coke with a with a hamburger is pretty freaking good. Yeah, pretty good. If you cook the hamburger yourself, pretty freaking good. A rye. Nate says a rye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coco. 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 Coco? Let's not get crazy. Mr. Coco said hamburger is better than hot dog, but salmon is better than steak. So somebody's Ooh. cooking Coco bad steaks. That's mm -hmm. all I can tell you. They cook it yeah. in good salmon and bad steaks. Like Coco has never had a good ribeye. I can't agree with that one. A ribeye over salmon any day. I, it's hard to disagree with Jill that like just a good jacket Coke for a cookout because that's just... Like, you yeah. can just sip on that all day. I don't know. I just think, like, sitting around a fire with a burger and Jack and Coke, that's a pretty good evening. Oh, if you bring fire into it, like, it's, yeah. oof, it gets it gets serious with the Jack and Coke. Gringo says Jack and Ginger with a hot dog? What in the world are we talking about? Is she, Ooh, yes. that's good. I, oh, I'm telling you, for an Irish whiskey, Ooh. that is freaking fantastic. Ooh. That is good. Red breast right there. PX Sherry Finish. Wow. <laughs> Coco puts ketchup on the steak. <laughs> Coco puts ketchup. On steak. I'm sorry, Coco. I'm just I'm just picking, but you're wrong. You're wrong. I'm, I'm just joking. You're wrong. <laughs> he told me I was wrong too, Coco, and he lives with me every oh, she's day definitely wrong. for the last she's twenty five years, so he, it's okay. Nobody likes wieners over a hamburger. Why? It's got a wiener in it. Thomas. What? I got in trouble. Now I'm in trouble. See, y'all officially saw the trouble line. But to, oh, I need to. Kyle, I just, I just bought. Jill just bought a bunch of ribs. I did. So next weekend, I got to fire Sunday. up the smoker and cook my signature ribs. Next Sunday, right? <laughs> no, this Sunday. This Sunday, not next. Coming Sunday. Sunday. This coming yeah. Sunday. So you like that whiskey. What do you I think about do. it? Give me your notes. Give me your taste of notes. It oh, does, it's funky. It, don't, it, don't do it, that. It has like a whiny, like, so, like I, it reminds me of my, like, Josh wines that I love so much. Okay. It has that, that. Okay. Know, that, it like does have deep, kind of a fruity, yeah. like a deep fruity characteristic to you. It's really good. Yeah. So ham, I uh, I actually smooth, easy to drink. Right now, I'm just smoking on a big green egg. I used to own a barbecue restaurant. We had some fancier smokers. Right now, I just go with the BG. Mm. That's good. Smoky. Coco's smoky. never really liked steaks. Oh my goodness! I'm I so feel sorry. Bad. I feel bad. It's good. I'm, I'm sorry, it's probably. Coco. You're probably going to live longer than we will, but damn, we're going to enjoy our time. All right. Hey, Cal, no joke. What are you doing Sunday, man? Hit me up. You got my number? Hit me up. We'll come over. Come over. Let's do some stuff. <laughs> you said we'll come over. Come no, we're not coming over. We're going to be here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I drank too much. <laughs> That's good. You go to Whacked Out Wiener and Foley? I might have to check that out. Allie. I don't care if your name's Sydney. <laughs> We're not changing it. You can't just change your name. She lets us call her Allie. Okay, okay. Everybody else has to call her Sid. Give Jill some Frank family wine if she likes fruit in Josh. I need to, like, get in the Discord, DM me that. I'll look it up. 
Yeah, I love Josh Wines. They're like one of my favorites. Exactly, Joe. Every once in a while, you've got to be you, like forced to eat a hot dog to realize how good hamburgers good. are. Why is that so good? I'm just, I, I don't know. So this is, I just say mm -hmm. normally I hate scotch and I don't like Irish whiskeys, right? Hate scotch, don't like Irish whiskeys. And then I drink something like this and I'm like, uh, maybe, maybe I've just not had good Irish whiskeys. It's kind of like my rise. I don't like rise, but then I have a few rise and I'm like, eh, maybe I've just had bad rise. So where in Ireland is this one located? Because that's doesn't where we matter. need to go. It does matter. We need it to go does. there. It's from Ireland. It it's, just says Ireland. Ireland's not a big place, Jill. It's like the size of freaking, it's smaller than the state of Alabama. No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. It sounded like a good fact. I don't think that's true. Jill, Kentucky Oak Redbreast. Has everyone had? Has, has anyone ever had a Vegas bomb shot? What is that, Will? I've not had a Vegas bomb shot. UDH. And I've been have to you Vegas been to Whiskey Thieves times. Distillery outside of Lawrenceburg? I have not, man. Let me know. I literally saw a video on that today. I was like, that looks interesting. I Ooh, saw. Phillips doesn't like red breast. Now this is the PX. Oh really? Have you had the PX edition? It's really good. It's pretty good. It, it's got a little maltiness, which I don't love. But other than the maltiness, I really like the flavors. I saw on, on Facebook some friends of mine just went to do the whole um, bourbon trail. And they did like the Maker's Mark where they made their own bottle. We okay. should go do that. Why have we not At done Baker's that? Mark? Yeah. Because we haven't been to Maker's Mark. That's why we haven't done that. Well, we need to go do that. That looks so fun. We didn't looks do fun. that. Looks fun. Let's do it. We need the budget. Yeah, we haven't done the whole trail yet. We need to do that. I think we should do that. That'd be fun. I concur. Ireland is smaller than Alabama. I thought it was, but smaller. It than sounded Alabama. yes. It's not, but here's the thing: you come over here to the U.S. and you're like, okay, we're a country. Then you go to Europe, and every country is just like smaller than most states, than the average state. So like that's why people over there are so much more more cultured, is because they got to go across borders. They get different languages here. It's like, oh, we speak English, and there's like, I know like seven Mexicans, so I got to speak Spanish, right? Over there, if you like drive to Georgia, those people speak a different language, uh, have a whole different culture, and then you need to acclimate to that. Here, you get like redneck, and then you get like, you know, preppy Northeastern Yankee, <laughs> and then you get like Southwest Indigenous, and then God knows California, and then you get you know, hipster Northwest, and then you get like cowboy in the kind of like Northern Midwest. That's pretty much our cultures. Um, and then you get like Wisconsin or whatever, you know, they, they got their own thing going on. Uh, but over there, every state has a different culture, basically, and different laws and different government. Kyle says they're going to do a week at the trail soon. Which coordinate. Hey, hit me up, Kyle. We might do that. Depends on when it is. We might do that. That'd be fun. Nate drinks whiskey. Guinness is gross. All right. As a Georgian, I can attest to the different languages. <laughs> Hipster Northwest is just the city. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe just, I don't know. I'm talking hypothetically because I've actually, like, the Pacific Northwest, the only place I've never been at all. <laughs> is your barrel pick sold out? Not yet, Damon. Um, I can't tell you where to get it, but we do have the best merch at Bruzel.com. So, um, I haven't shot the short yet. I'm a little late to that. I was supposed to shoot it like this weekend, release it this week. Um, but I really, tomorrow we will shoot the short on that and it will get out later this week and it'll be sold out. So if you want one, you need to go ahead and do that. I think there's like 40 something of them left. So once we drop the short, they should sell out pretty quickly. Guinness is a gift from God. I'm just not a huge fan of Guinness. I don't hate it. Like, it's pretty good. I drink it draft. I'm like, that's pretty good. I'm more of a brown ale. Like, I just need more sweetness to it. Mm. Have you had a Guinness? I'm pretty sure I've had a Guinness. You've had a Guinness. I know yeah, you've had a Guinness. I've had, I'm sure I've had But you don't remember. Not like, I don't usually have a Guinness. Right. But I don't think I would dislike it. I think I've had it before. I don't yeah. I mean, if I'm going to choose, it's going to be a Blue Moon draft or Shock Top draft or... Something like that. For sure. A Mexican lager usually, but something in that family. 
Damon got both a, a store pick and a horse collector. Awesome. Thank you. And Chris, if, yeah, if you need another bottle, you better go ahead and pick it. And so as soon, I'm trying to wait until these are sold out before I do the next pick. Although I know it's going to be like three months before we get the next pick. But like the way my checking and savings is set up. See, we got to like make some money <laughs> yeah. to pay for the next barrel pick. So we got to figure that out. That we're, is definitely how his checking and savings Darwin says, set up. were you a redhead? You talking about me? Or are you talking about her? Me? I don't know. Maybe you look a little red in the lights, but she is definitely a, a blonde, kind of a well, dirty blonde dark at this right point. Now. I die. Yeah. I mean, it, it is colored, apparently. It's not my natural color. And by the time you see me Monday, it'll be different because I'm going on Friday to get it done. Oh, she's Again. going on Friday. She's going to look different on Monday. I look different on Monday. Thank you, Zach, for watching, man. I appreciate it. Cigar City Brown. Oh, like that, Kyle, I'm, I'm into the Cigar City Maduro Brown yeah, Club. I do like like we need to get them as like a sponsor. I'm gonna try to put a kegerator in, and I know you want a blue moon, but I feel like like I need a good cigar city Maduro keg nope. for a while, for a little while. Nope. Like I do love a blue moon keg. Right, I, you I, would like drink blue, blue moon. moon. I won't drink that. Yeah, but sometimes you just gotta be selfish, you know. No, you don't, you don't. think so. Damn it. No. We'll just keep blue moon on draft at all times. Maybe I need to get like. I gotta widen out the space. I may have to move that wall and try to get like a two tap <laughs> kegerator. Just move the whole yeah. wall. I'll just move a wall. Yeah, no. Who cares? Checks and balances. Black and tan. Hey, nothing, nothing wrong with a black and tan. I get you. I get you. Ah, oh, I love the camp out vlogs along with hauls and mm -hmm. hunting vid vids. Thank you. Um, we're trying a bunch of different stuff. I've missed a couple of opportunities on content this last week, and I hate that. So we had the thing that came up Thursday, and you're like, you've already committed to something else. And so we did that instead. Yep. And then Saturday, there was like a bourbon festival in Atlanta that I wasn't able to go to because I was committed to take Jesse to look at a car. But then we talked Jesse out of buying said car, so we went nowhere, and I completely forgot about the bourbon thing that was going <laughs> okay. on. Okay. Oh, well. I did not, uh, the lottery ticket. You talking about the Alabama lottery there, Mark? I did not win. Jill did not win. I only know one person that won, and I think that one person is a new proxy for me. So I think I, they won 30th in one of the lines, and I think I can give them what they want, what I want, and they will go pick it up for me. I don't know yet. I haven't talked to this person directly. Will's the one that hooked me up there. Um, so I haven't, haven't worked out, and we don't know what the bottles are, right? But... I think I did have one of my proxies win, but I did not win because I don't win anything ever. <laughs> ever. Yeah. He won me. What's in the container? This right here. They missed the container here. This uh, was um, ancient age soaked in, uh, well, it's, it's actually banana Laffy Taffy soaked in ancient age. Yeah, but there's no banana. You just can't taste the banana at all. So yeah. it's not good. So I we tried that against the Howler head. longer. Would the banana show up? No, the banana's already completely or evaporated. It's gone like it's now? gone. It's already okay. like disintegrated into the whiskey. There is no banana to be felt there. No banana. Yeah. Well, that's sad. Beer, bourbon, and barbecue in Atlanta. Yeah, Cal's the one that hit me up. He's like, hey man, what are you doing Saturday? I was like, stuff. <laughs> stuff. Yeah. He did have stuff. Would have been do. fun. We gotta we gotta get out. Like we've got some videos coming out, and honestly, those are the most popular videos where we go do stuff. Because nobody else seems to be doing those types of videos. So we need to go do some stuff. I've got to get a calendar going of all the bourbon stuff. Because I am never, ever, ever. It is not going to happen to where organized. somebody hits me up on a Friday night and says, what are you doing Saturday? And I say, nothing. Nothing. Just doesn't happen, right? Yeah. So I've got to get a calendar going ahead of time so I can plan these things. I like to say Chris won 34th. Yeah, I saw that. He posted that. Nobody likes Chris. Nobody. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I'm very jealous of Chris. Congratulations on that. We don't know what the bottles are. I don't know if 34th is good, but I'm assuming it is. Well, if you got a spot at all, right? I'm assuming. Like, we just don't know. Yeah. This is the first time ever, so we just don't know. I got to admit, Atlanta traffic, that is absolutely a win there, Mason. Ah. Angel Share got some banana taffy. Uh, dude, it's in there. It just doesn't taste like banana anymore. No banana. Yeah. 
It's fun to see the YouTube guys out hunting. It's way more relatable to us viewers who have to run the roads and find good stuff. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate that. Um, so we're, you know, we're trying all sorts of different stuff. We do have a hunting video coming out later this week, though. The weather right now, it's fantastic outside. A little bit cloudy most of the day today, but otherwise, great. It's pretty windy. What was it? It was like, it was windy, it was but it was like 70-something degrees. Something. I can't, it was, 70, it was fantastic. 4, 75. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was beautiful. I have my garage being built, so they finished yes. the framing on the garage this week. So that's awesome. So I got a place to store my cars. Oh, Uncle Nate said there's snow there. It's snowing in California. Like Jason. Oh, yeah, that's right. Jason just sent me a text from California. The guy that was in the, the guy that helped me with the BTAC stuff, he just sent me a picture from California. It's a freaking blizzard. That's great. And why can't we ever get the snow? Because we suck. We can't get we the suck snow. snow. We were just there. We were like, in California. Yeah. But it didn't snow. You didn't time it around the snow, Jim. And then we left, and it snows. We live in Alabama. It never snows. Damon, if you wear the Bourbon Hunter t-shirt while out hunting, like it's not been approved by the FDA, so I don't really know yet, but based on clinical trials, <laughs> it improves your chances of finding good whiskey by like 7%, 7.3% to be precise. But it doesn't guarantee anything. But we're still waiting on those clinical trials to come back. So, What's the worst tasting note you've picked up from a bottle? Honestly, it's probably malt. Like It's just like anything malt, I'm like, oh, God, what is this shit? Yeah, go to the northeast. Just move north. Move north, yeah. And you'll hate snow in like a year. Well, that's true, but I don't ever get it. So I just want to see it and enjoy it, and then it be gone. That's what I want. 82 in Mobile, wow. Kyle was in Milwaukee and got a, lots of snow and ice. All right, Jill, I'm going to run to the... <laughs> Nate doesn't like the uh, malt hate. I'm going to run to the restroom. <laughs> dance for everybody, if you would. You I'm not dancing. Not? Nobody wants to see me dance. I can promise you that. <sighs> what in the world? He's crazy. You need to hurry up because I don't, these people don't want to see me. They want to see you. I don't know what to say. Outside of Madeline Klein kind of disappoint. I don't know what that means. Okay. Dance. I'm not dancing. I've never been a dancer. I don't even know if we danced at prom. Did we dance at prom? I don't think we even danced at our prom. So, I don't, I'm not a dancer. Oh, but we have decided that we want to take dancing classes. I don't remember. What do we want to learn? The, I don't know, some sort of dance. I forgot what it was, but we want to learn. We have, we do have an Opelika. I saw it. It's like a Celtic, I guess it's Irish, which, you know, hey. There we go. We can learn Celtic dancing and drink Irish whiskey. So, there you go. We could do that. We're going to learn Irish Celtic dancing. And we're going to make a video of it and show it to you guys. There you go. Don't you think so? Yeah. What yeah. was the dance that we yeah, wanted to learn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it wasn't Irish. Salsa. We were going to do oh, salsa. salsa. We were going to take salsa dancing. Salsa dancing lesson. Should that be a video? Should we do a salsa dancing lesson? We're gonna probably. I don't know. Do you guys? Channel. Do you guys want to see us salsa dancing? I don't really think. I'm gonna get wanna skinny. I'm gonna buy a Corvette, and then we're gonna go salsa dancing. That's what's gonna happen. I'm not sure where around here. I teach you how to duggy. Teach you how to duggy. Yeah. TJ can teach me how to duggy. I don't really. I think cannot. I I can Google it. I'll be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Teach me how to pay duggy. me to Dougie. I mean, I might, I might if for pay. Like I don't know. I started an OnlyFans. I just post videos of me doing the Dougie. Gone ham has went back to my. What's your favorite hot dog topping, Jill? Well, usually if I have a hot dog, it's a grilled hot dog. I don't really like them boiled. I'm not a boiled hot dog fan. I like Nobody them grilled. Is. And you I like them burnt. I do like them a little burnt, and I like. Mustard, tons of mustard, and onion. That's garbage. my hot dog of choice. It's, it's garbage. It's not garbage. It's garbage. It's not garbage. It's, garbage. it's really good. It's bad. It's Thank good. you. Really good. It's terrible. 
you'd be better off. Like I'm just gonna I'm gonna lower the bar, and I'm gonna say just a Burger King hamburger is better. Just like anything flame broiled at this point, no. artificial flame broil flavor better than no. a a grilled hot dog with mustard and onion. No. Mustard yeah. and onion, really good. You yeah. don't like mustard or onion. So what's the worst hamburger you can get? What's the worst fast food burger on the market, Jill? What's the worst one? The worst? Worst fast food hamburger. That I've ever had. Ever had. Ever. Ever, ever. Take it easy, ham. Night, night, ham. Night, night, Uncle Nate. Um... I don't like Burger King's hamburger. Well, I actually think Burger King's better than McDonald's. Hmm. I do not like McDonald's hamburgers. They're, okay. just, they're gross. They're just gross. Well, what's the worst one? McDonald's. McDonald's is the worst hamburger on the market. Yes. Everything's better than McDonald's. Every single hamburger no, probably joint. probably not Crystal's. Crystal's is not better. No. Okay. Crystal's without onions. Better than any hot dog on the planet. Nope. Better than any of them. I respectfully disagree with you, husband. Hot now? You talking about like Krispy Kreme? Ooh, no, Krispy Kreme hot now. They that's that's got nothing. That's, that's, that's a whole that. different freaking conversation. That's what are we talking that. about? Oh, hot and spicy. Add cheese, but that's a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Now Jason's listen. got it. Burger King burger. With McDonald's fries? Yeah, now I can do that. Right. I he can might do be that. Right. He might be right. Now, McDonald's has a pretty decent chicken sandwich. I'm not saying that. I'm saying burger. Like Melissa hamburger. Rivers says hot dogs from Stories. Like we, we had the Stories conversation. Yeah, Stories is good. And Stories is good. It's still not better than a decent hamburger. It's better than a McDonald's hamburger. Uh, I mean, okay. So, maybe. Yep. And, um... What was I going to say? Okay. I forgot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Like, oh, the chicken Take sandwich. Easy, Jason. And McDonald's has a, a good fish sandwich. We are talking about burgers versus hot right, dogs. Right, but though. we were talking. No, they said something. Wendy's a hot and, and spicy. Jack -a, a hot and spicy add cheese. That's a chicken sandwich. I don't know, bro. Like, a, a Baconator is not, not bad. Like, I don't, I can't remember the last Jack hamburger I had. But Wendy's Baconator is not bad. Mm, so, we, Spunky, we don't have White Castle here, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we don't have White Castle. It's like the only White Castle I've ever had was just like a reheated burger out of the microwave. From like, like, so they sell them at Sam's Club. That's the only White Castle I've ever had in my entire life, I think. I'm from Chicago, and the hot dog slander is <laughs> offensive. Thank you. Says. I love hot dogs. So, and next time I'm in Chicago, I'll probably be there in like June or July, maybe. Are you going to June or July? I don't, like, RCE, like, the conference we go to is normally around that time. I haven't checked to see when it is. I might want to go I'll with I'll probably you. have to go, instead of deep dish pizza, which is god-awful. Hot dogs. We'll do hot dogs. That's what we'll do. But I need some recommendations on where I need to go to find a good hot, maybe I've just, maybe it's like Irish whiskey. I've just never had a good hot dog. Maybe that's what it is, right? We're just having some, like, Oscar Mayer wieners we grilled, and I just haven't had a good one. Maybe that's what it is. I'll take, I'll take all the blame. Corn dog versus hot dog. Ooh. That's tough. Mm -hmm. That's tough. I, I'm gonna have to go with a corn dog. That is tough. That, I'm just like corn dogs just better all the way around. That's tough. I don't know. It's deep fried, Jill. I know, and everything's better deep fried. Now we're not talking about like some box corn dogs you microwave. We talking about like some legit going to the state fair corn dogs. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe better than a hot dog. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. Fort Wayne's famous Coney Island is the best hot dog. Like, whoa, well, Coney Island's in New York. Fort Wayne is in Indiana. I'm not sure. <laughs> Which one? I is feel it? like there's a disconnect somewhere there, Mark. <laughs> Bar S? What is that, Adam? I'm going to agree with Pizza Hut is the worst fast food. It's the worst, like, delivery fast food pizza. pizza. I used to love it as a kid. Like, I used to, you go into the restaurant, they didn't really deliver. You go in there, you have a good pizza. Now the sauce is just so like over the top rich. They put like mm. two inches of sauce on it. Just not a big fan of Pizza Hut right now. Be careful in Chicago. I've had some good times in Chicago, but I, I feel like as long as you're carrying around a good hot dog, people will leave you alone. They just think you're <laughs> local. 
If you just got a hot dog in your pocket, if anybody tries to mug you, you're just, just like, hey, dude, I got a chili dog in my pocket. That dude's like, oh, he local. I'll leave him alone. I'm sorry about that. They put salad on hot dogs in Chicago. We don't want that nonsense. Vienna beef and big city reds. What is that nonsense, bro? What are we talking about? Portillo's? I'm getting all sorts of hot dog recommendations, and I don't even know where these places are. <laughs> yeah. Hot dog. Maybe we should. Go on, Ham. I don't think we can update stream at this point. We have run off all the viewers. I will give you that. At least half of them. Well, not if Only you really the cool ones. If you truly love us, you're still here, even if we talk about hot dogs we, or hamburgers. We got, rid of, we got rid of the pretenders, and now all the cool kids are left. Hot dog in your pocket. Yeah, if you got, just carry around. If you're in Chicago, just keep a hot dog. You got to have some chili on top. Maybe some sauerkraut. <laughs> Italian beef sandwich. Pizza Hut needs to bring back those nostalgia. Oh, the buffets were awesome. Did they not do that anymore? I don't know. There's buffets in Chicago. I appreciate it there, Gold Bullet. Huh? There's buffets in Chicago? No, they're talking about the Pizza Hut needs to bring back the buffets. Oh! So yeah. we used to be able to go to Pizza Hut. Right, we used to go to Pizza Hut in LA City. They have a buffet. You could just eat all the pizza you want. Yeah. I'm not saying it was great, but it was cheap. Right, I understand. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. Pork chop sandwiches sound delicious. Spunky. Jonathan works at Wallace, North Carolina at the ABC store, man. Cool. Awesome. There are types of hot dog links. <laughs> Portillo's. I don't, what is Portillo's? What is this? A lot of folks saying that's legit. What is it? This is the true B team. The B team. If you're yeah, here right yes. now, I'll be honest. If you're here listening to this garbage, you are like true B team member right here. <laughs> Pulled pork versus brisket sandwich. This is not a, this is not a contest. Like, we, we've had some really nice debates, but this is not a contest. It's pulled pork all day. Oh, all day. It's all all freaking day. All day. Like, I do like a decent brisket every once in a while, but you talking about like a best sandwich? Man, it's pulled pork. Give me a freaking break. If you like brisket, you either from Texas or you wrong. <laughs> That's it. That's, those are your options. You're from Texas or you're wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like, Texas just has their own. Like, Texas just, they got their own thing. So, like, they, they just love cows, right? They don't raise pigs in Texas. They just raise cows. So, they all in on anything beef in Texas. But if you're outside of Texas, you got to be a pork fan. you got to be. Yeah. Super Bar at Wendy's? I don't even know what this is. I'm still here after being almost banned over steak. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you weren't close to banned, but, you know, you... You did speak some wrongs there. <laughs> you spoke some wrongs. Hey, the Pizza Hut in Roanoke, Alabama still has a buffet. What? What are you doing tomorrow, Jude? You want to go do I a... ain't going to Roanoke. I, I go to Roanoke, but I can't have a pizza buffet. We like, I'm trying to, to yeah. trying to lose some weight. We ain't going to Roanoke. We're Hot going wings to, are the best on the top. Tomorrow? Yeah, we're going somewhere in the morning. What is to, oh, we got to go to we got to go to LaGrange. LaGrange. That's right. There you go. I keep thinking... I don't know what day of the week it is. I'm going to be honest. We're going to LaGrange. B team stands for bourbon team. It stands for brusel team. It stands for the team that is not quite the A team. <laughs> it's, it's like the leftovers, the rejects from the A team. It stands for lots of things, and it's right in all cases. Pulled pork for the win. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Brisket all day for me. Moist. Yeah, but who has a moist brisket? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Martinez in the house with the cow reporting for duty. <laughs> Chud's Barbecue Channel. He's a beast of brisket, and I think you would have a good time together. All right, wow. introduce me. Like, if you're in the Discord, ping me about that tomorrow. I'll hit him up, see what's up. Try tip if you're on the West Coast. All right. Another Texas boy in the house. Shakey's. You talking about the pizza joint? Like the chicken. It was chicken and pizza, wasn't it? Shakey's. We had a Shakey's here. You remember? Had like the arcade in the back. It was over by the airport. Yeah, we did have a Shakey's. Yeah, we went there like twice. It was, it was pretty good chicken. Shakey's. I don't remember anything else. I do else. remember Shakey's. The best team. Stag Jr. or birthday bourbon? I'd probably choose birthday bourbon most of the time, if I'm going to be honest what? with you. Is this is this Stag Jr.? Yeah. Ooh, it's not good. Junior anymore. That's it had right it had like a complex, you know. It, it felt like it was inferior because it had the word Junior. So they dropped Junior. Uh, it's still inferior, but it's really good. Mm. But it's inferior to George T. Stag and birthday bourbon, I would think. 
Ryder was just in Lagrange, so I gotta go drop off the. I gotta drop off Maggie for a little bit of work. We're gonna have the power steering gearbox replaced and a couple of leaks fixed on her. Tri tip. I, I don't know if I've had tri tip. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna show me straight with you. I don't know if I've had it. It sounds good. It has tips. <laughs> Three of them apparently. I don't know what that means. Wings and whiskey. I haven't had monkey's shoulder. Cigars and bourbon whiskey. I think it, I mean it's a good time, Jonathan. Um, I don't drink a ton. I, I don't drink. I don't smoke a ton of cigars. Um, only if I'm around other people, but I'm not like one of those guys that's like pairing them or trying different whiskeys with cigars. I just have a good time. And so if people are around and they have cigars and they want to smoke them, we will go smoke them. And what will I drink? Whatever's in my glass. Monkey shoulder tastes like sock water. That does not sound good. <laughs> it does not, Adam. <laughs> it does Adam not says. sound good. Sock water? Like you soaked clean or dirty socks? Which no, one? old sock water. Old socks. Yeah, yeah. So, so you stored dirty, it in a jar here for a couple of weeks. With dirty old socks. Yep. Yeah, no, thank you. The buffet is shaky. <laughs> so the, the pizza buffet I used to eat the most was, um, what was it? Was it Godfather's? Gaddy's. Gaddy's. That's what Gaddy's. I'm thinking. Gaddy's. Gaddy's. Gaddy's um, was it like your go-to place. That was about so in in college, and, and I, I'm trying to read that name. Retla, I don't even know. Four ninety nine super chat. Thank you for that. Heaven's oh, door cask you. strength. I have not had any Heaven's door cask strength. I do have the ten year. I have a store pick back there though, um, and I like both of those, but I haven't had any cash strength. I apologize. Uh, but so when I was in college, halfway between my house and campus was a Mr. Gaddy's. And you would go in there, it was five dollars, five bucks, all you can eat pizza buffet. But not only that, I had a break from 10 to 11. So I front loaded most of my classes. I was one of those guys, like we had a kid, we were married, I had to get to work in the afternoon. So I would have all my classes in the morning. And then I would have a break from like 11 to 12 or 10 to 11, depending on the semester. And then I would have like a class in the afternoon Then I'd be gone to go to work. So I would go to Mr. Gaddy's and they had this huge projection TV. You walk in, you get your food and there was a room off to the left. They had this big projection TV from like the 1980s. Like it was an awful, <laughs> even then it was an old projection TV, but it would play Scooby-Doo for lunch. Like every day it was like running a Scooby-Doo marathon for like a couple of hours. And so I would just go get a plate of pizza. I would go into the room. I would watch Scooby-Doo for an hour and then I would go to class. That was like my routine for like four years. Scooby-Doo and Mr. Gaddy's because it was five bucks. Did you ever take Will? No. I had to go to class. Like oh. when I left, I had to go to class. I can't take a kid to class. No, you can't. I mean, I might could have. It would have been weird though. Um, so that Gaddy's is not there now. It's a real estate office. Yeah. But we're about to open one here. They're about to open one on like right behind the breweries and stuff. They're opening a Mr. Oh, yeah, Gaddy's. Yeah, yeah. So when that opens, I'm going to have to take like a diet break. We're going to have to go to Gaddy's. We're going to see if I can get them to play some Scooby-Doo for nostalgia's sake. <laughs> We're going to rock this. How does one not cough when trying barrel proof? I just experience ham. Just keep trying. Tri-tip is part of sir. I understand, but I've never had something where somebody said, this is tri-tip. Like maybe I might have had like tri-tips and rice. I might have done that somewhere one time. Mm. I don't know. But it's like barbecue. Never had it. <laughs> try to blend up some socks and try them. <laughs> Monkey sock puppet water. Does not sound good. Gaddy's was awesome. Legit arcade. Like the one I went to there didn't have an arcade at all. In college, it did not have an arcade at all. It was just like a $5. It was like Are CC's. You, sure? you just didn't go into the arcade. It might have had a couple of games. It didn't have a big arcade. It might have had a couple of games. But it was like, I was like, the, I felt like I was the only place, the only person in there, hmm. which is probably why it didn't last. Because I might have been the only person eating there. Was it all you can eat? I think it was. I think it was all you can eat for like five bucks. That's what I remember. Now, this was like 97 through 2001. I need to send you some whiskey, girl butterscotch whiskey from Hilton Head Distillery. Yes, you Ooh, do, Cam. Yes, Hilton you do. Head. We There's love a Hilton. P.O. box in my bio. Like, you got to send a whole bottle. 
Like, no offense, but we got we got a lot of great folks watching, and we got some weirdos. So we're a little iffy about, like, unopened samples. But if you have a whole bottle you want to send it, there's a P.O. box in the bio. And we would love anything from home. How many celebrity bourbons do you like besides Heaven's Door? Heaven's Door is a celebrity bourbon? Yeah, that's Bob Dylan. Uh, and I like the 10-year. I do like that. Um, I thought the puncher's chance was pretty decent. Like, not, like, great. I don't think it's as good as this 10-year-old Heaven's Door. But I thought puncher's chance, which is, like, it's not the guy that says, let's get ready to rumble. It's, like, his brother. We messed that up in the video. We took the video down because we had, like, the complete wrong celebrity because we're idiots. But that one is pretty good. So I think it's Bruce Buffer. That guy's Michael Buffer. I thought it was a decent whiskey. Um, outside of that, like the Black Steel Dr. Disrespect, I thought was an okay whiskey. Like it ranked pretty. It had a great mouthfeel. The flavors were okay, um, but it had just like this great thickness and mouthfeel to it, which moved it up our, our scale a little bit. Um, I, I don't know if I'd recommend you buying one if you get your hands on it, but I, I thought it was interesting enough to have it's not like 70 80 bucks for what they charge for it but it was all right i've got three or four other celebrity whiskeys that we haven't opened yet um so that that's it that's the list of ones i thought were at least drinkable good night mark and mark's good out of here Zach. it is 9 57 i think we are going to call it a day here as well i appreciate everybody watching um, we have had a great time this live stream. This was a little unstructured. We hit the high proof stuff early, and then we got sidetracked on uh, not need to crack. So Kyle, we may be cra we're probably going to crack that this week. Honestly, the Silver Belly stuff. We've got the three or four celebrity whiskeys are probably going to get cracked this week to be shot for long form and for shorts. So. Should see those coming up pretty soon. I, I'm really, I've got that. I've got the, you know, the Brad Paisley. What is it, American Highway? We've got Drake. I think there might be one more back there somewhere. So we, we definitely need to get those out. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. Had a great time tonight. This was a fun yeah. live stream, even though we spent half of it talking, talking about, about hot dogs and, hot and dogs. hamburgers. <laughs> um, Thank you all for sticking with us. Yeah, appreciate everybody who supports us here. Uh, we're having a great time on these live streams. I thank Jill for showing up and helping me with these. They're a lot more fun of with course. hair on them, even though she gets mad at me about 75% of them. No, he knows when I get mad. I give him a, the look. <laughs> like, I, here's the, the thing. Look. I know she's going to be mad before I say something. And I can tell you, I've been married 25 years, I can tell you on a scale of 1 to 10, how mad she's going to be on most of those things. <laughs> I still got to say them if they come to my head. They still got to come You don't. Out. That's the thing. You don't have to say them. I have to. You don't. I have to. I can't. I can't have thoughts and not share them with the world, Jill. Oh, it's Mason's first time watching. Thank you, Mason. Thank you, Mason. I New appreciate Monday it. New tradition. Well, we will be live next Monday, the Monday after that. I have a vacation. I'm just going to crash for like four or five days, so we are going to miss that stream, but... Other than that, we should be pretty regular for a while here. So I Good appreciate night, everybody hanging out. We'll Good catch night, up Greg. with y'all later. Good night. Are you waiting? Well, about, like, here's, so the, for people that are watching, it's weird because we're putting out stuff and then it has to go up there and there's like a delay. And I don't know how long the delay is. And then when do we end so the stream? Just... I don't know if we cut it off. So I'm like waving to so that shows up up there. And it literally just started showing, which shows you how long the delay is. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quick play this. I'm going to mute us. When that shows, we cut it. See y'all later. Goodbye.